Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome to another live stream as we play a new game that I've been anxiously awaiting the opportunity to be able to stream. Welcome to Nightingale, everyone. It's been a it's been a long day. <laughs> I was I was supposed to stream this earlier. I had it all scheduled to go, and then last night when we were playing Galactic Survivor, my internet decided it was going to crap out on me, and I had no upload speed. I was getting like a half of one megabit per second, and it persisted all through today. So after like I don't know, hours dealing with the cable company and stuff. It still wasn't working. I couldn't stream. And then randomly it came back on tonight. So, hooray, we're here. Hopefully it will hold out long enough for us to actually get through some playtime. Uh, I plan to play to at least midnight, possibly later. We'll see how it goes. Welcome everyone who's here in the chat so far. If you're watching on the channel afterwards, welcome as well. As always, big thanks to everyone who's clicked on that join button to become a channel member. Thank you all very, very much for the support. It's greatly appreciated. And a special thanks to our top tier mistakes are made members for choosing that uh, that top tier membership option. Um, you may have seen some gameplay today. The game's been all over the place. Lots of interest. Uh, so anyone's curious about what's going on with Nightingale. Should be a fun time. This is the first day in early access, so there will be changes and developments that happen in the game over time. Um, but uh, things are a little different even than the videos that I uploaded. They've already changed the UI over the course of the last week, so it looks different. Uh, they seem to be a really um, active and involved development team, so I'm, I'm sort of hopeful that uh, we'll get some uh, some good developments and stuff as we go along, and dealing with new content and changes to the way stuff works as uh, the game progresses. Um, we're just going to go through the, the character creation stuff relatively quickly. I don't want to spend a ton of time on this, because I'm not going to look at my own character anyway. I play in first-person mode. But we'll make some choices, because some choices are important. Like, for example... Well, actually, the uh, so you choose the backstory here, like what their uh, their background is. I don't even know what effect it has on the game. I haven't seen it actually make any changes aside from their clothing. So, like, if you choose a states person, you start with this. If you choose the academic, you look like that, etc. There's the trades person, the hermit. That's a stylish jacket right there, baby. Woo! That's 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 the stuff. Uh, we've got the officer, which is kind of a cool look. And there's a uh, the ne'er do well. <laughs> I'm kind of leaning towards being a ne'er-do-well. So in Raptor's chat, yeah, I popped it on Raptor and Tang and Brian and stuff. Those are pretty much the only three people that I hit up with any regularity. Um, started dropping in a floppy stream a little bit every now and then, too. Uh, we got the Vagrant, destitute and relegated to the streets, or worse, the workhouse. So the Vagrant's the... the, uh, the he's really stylishly dressed for a Vagrant, though, I have to say. Like, that's... In this day and age, Vagrants would not look like this. This was... This is when they had class. I'm gonna go with the ne'er do well. Like I said, I have zero idea if it makes any difference at all. Am I starting new? I am starting new. The uh, the stuff that I was playing before uh, was on a different build of the game. It was on an earlier build. Uh, it did not carry over to the release version of the game. So we are starting out fresh. Uh, we'll try to progress through the early game relatively quickly. If you uh, haven't seen me doing that already, um, You'll be able to see that on the videos that I already have uploaded on the channel. And then I also upload like a tips video for people who might be starting to play that are uh, interested in some uh, some ideas on how to make things progress a little bit better for them. Um, there are no scars available yet, uh, nor tattoos. They should be adding those at some point later. I'm going to change my hair color to something that's a little closer to my own. Bit of a dark brown. And then we got hairstyle options. Uh, I mean, this one he's got isn't horrible. Now that's no. <laughs> that one was a hard no for sure. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, that's a look right there. Woo! Maybe we should change his hair color to like green or something. He can go bald. Looks like Professor X. I want something that doesn't have a bun thing, preferably. Would be good, I think. Eh, that's not the worst hair. Some of the st Oh, that's awful. <laughs> Some of the hairstyles are pretty brutal. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with this one here. That that's probably the most similar to my hair. Only it's it's a little bit longer, but and I don't part it like that. But you know, whatever. Uh, I am starting a new character. So if you watch the videos that I uploaded previously, uh, that was on a different build of the game, uh, as I was just saying a minute ago. Uh, unfortunately, that does not carry over to the uh, the release version of the game. So we are starting fresh, but having played the game before, obviously we'll make quick progress. Um, I'm gonna try to move off world to the. Uh, the next world over as early as we can. Uh, I do think we need to have an appropriate mustache because the you know it's that style of game where a mustache is important. I 
It's not, uh, there aren't like any like really wildly crazy mustaches. I go go with this one here. I like the little curl up on the end. Although that, that one's pretty good too though, because it fills out more of his face. Maybe we'll go with that one. Like I said, we're not going to look at my own face anyway, but... Uh, I'm not going to bother modifying the head. This is fine. Everything's good. Don't need to worry about that. You can get like really crazy with these things though. Like if you can go into like the... Everything's pretty manipulatable. Uh, I saw some people did did some interesting builds online where they had like like funky teeth hanging out and stuff. It was great. Uh, like if you go into the mouth, the mouth shape. Oh no, that doesn't really change anything there. Oh, teeth. There it was. Oh yeah, yeah. So there's, so he's got like normal teeth. You can have metal teeth. <laughs> there we go. So we can put a metal tooth in there. His mustache gets in the way, so you can't really see it too much. As you move the slider, it just changes from like where the position of the metal tooth is in the mouth. <laughs> you can do metal. Oh, hold on. If we go metal tooth type, so we can uh, we make it like gold. Oh yeah, we get different colors there, so you get different colored teeth. That's fancy. Never seen that in a game before. I don't think I've ever seen a game before where they make you open your mouth and you can change the teeth. <laughs> it's... Oh, you can even have decaying teeth. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, that's good right there. Mm, that looks like vagrant. You can do crookedness. Oh, my lord. <laughs> anyway, we're going to give him decent teeth because, again, I'm not looking at my own mouth. I don't even know at any point. You know what's really weird? I don't know that the character even opens his mouth at any point in the game. <laughs> so, all the time you can spend doing teeth. I don't think it actually changes anything. But it's a neat little feature when you're, when you're building, I guess. Needs to be overbite? Yeah. <laughs> overbite, buck tooth. I had written you off for the day. Uh, so did I, actually. But then the internet just randomly started working again, so... This here is the decision that actually matters. The rest of it is just all cosmetics. When you get to the starting loadout, that's where it makes a difference. So if you go with the easy loadout, you start off with some better equipment. So this guy's got this fancy trench coat thing, some other stuff. I don't know what the gear score is because I never actually started with that, but you start off with better stuff. Medium is your sort of your standard experience. Hard, you're in some, uh, some silly foppish uh, outfit that doesn't provide good environmental protection, but I'm sure it looks great at court. And then you can go extreme and just show up in your underwear. It's all gear score based? Yeah, so your character doesn't actually develop skills. You unlock blueprints and things that let you build more stuff and expand what you can do in the game. But um, everything is based on your equipment in terms of what you can do. So what, what places you can enter, what you might have unlocked so far, it's all a progression that way. Kind of looks like Wyatt Earp. <laughs> Wyatt Earp. We're gonna head over to the OK Corral. All right, let's get in here. Before time itself, the realms have existed. Born of curiosity, we opened the first gateway to our endless Feywilds. The Fey have long since aided men in harnessing that which we live and breathe. Magic. Tolerance was known until your grasp extended reach. Greed, in the face of power, saw your world caught in ruin. And out flowed the pale, swallowing all in its path. Some fled its ever-spreading tongue, seeking refuge in Nightingale. Only to be severed from assistance as the pathway between realms collapsed. But ah, perhaps not all is lost. For Nightingale still stands, pushing forward towards progress and enlightenment. Humanity's final beacon. Your path thither is winding and full of terror's nascent realm walker. Wilt thou succumb to fey lands beyond thy wit? Or wilt thou endure, find the way homeward and rebuild anew?
No Bob Ross experience? <laughs> no, we didn't have an Afro option there. Even if we did, still Snow's daughter hates when I have an Afro in video games and she, uh... She complains, gets mad at me, so, uh, can't do that. That'd be, that'd be, that'd be not cool. <laughs> ah, continue journey! So again, if you didn't watch anyone else streaming this, and you didn't see the videos I uploaded before, this is the start of the tutorial. We're gonna go through a couple of Let worlds. We'll go through a couple of worlds here to kind of get um, the, the the very basics of the gameplay under our belt. Uh, I'm going to skip through a lot of um, Puck's dialogue because um, I played this uh, through a number of times. With a wonder you lost in our And most of it is instructions, so I'll try to speed through it a little bit. I'm going to let, I'll still let some of it play, but I'm going to try to skip through some. Quickly. Before those bound fiends sniff out your despair. You just squ uh, squat up with Brian for stream. That'd be cool. Uh, we haven't really talked about it, to be honest. Uh, we've only ever actually played games together, I think, twice. Sometimes it's hard to coordinate with playing Shadows with other people. Shadows abound, yet like a fire's final embers, you refuse to be snuffed out. I come with an offer to guide you to a safer realm, and take these bloodstained cards. Play them, and let amiable bond be drawn between Fay and Fleshling. Give me your hands, that we may be friends. And I shall risk hurry yonder toward Portal and Apparatus. So travel to the forest byway swiftly. Across the Divide, a greater gift awaits. Like I said, I'm going to let his dialogue play a little bit, so he kind of, he kind of drops the important points, and then I'm going to skip over some of the flowery speech. Uh, so we can try to get through the tutorial a little bit quicker, since I didn't get a chance to stream earlier today. Uh, if you want to see more of the dialogue, I do have it... Uh, oh, come on. No! <laughs> Not like this. Not like this! Don't do this to me, game. Uh, please tell me that's not my internet cramping out. I can't put the cards in the machine. Quickly running a speed test to see if anything's pooping on me. <laughs> not a good start if I can't progress from here. I, I, I literally can't interact with it. Yeah, rut row indeed. <laughs> it really is my luck. I, I, you know. Oh, there we go. World crashed on me. Team server stability has been getting a bit worse throughout the day for the game. Well, it's that time of night when there's a lot of people online now, I think. Um, so theoretically, this stuff should be... Should be a little bit more stable. We had a call with last night with the developers, a number of like content creators. Um, we had a chance to chat with them and ask some questions about the game and the launch and stuff. Um, when you're playing, when you're playing Nightingale, all of your worlds are individual server instances, rather than everybody having a shared server the way you would in like a mem an MMO or something of that nature. So they should be theoretically more stable, but it's not cooperating right now. Oh, come on. For all this. Do you have Cox Cable? That would explain why. No, I have a company called Kojiko Cable. It is a local cable company. But, uh, it's not Cox. I cannot interact with this. Ugh. I also can't get into a menu to quit. I'm gonna log out, log back in, see what happens. East Coast players were having trouble in the Steam reviews bomb them because of it. Yeah, so this is an online game. Um, even when you're playing single player, uh, it does it plays on their servers, so it does require a connection. Um, they did say that they they uh, secured like a ton of Google uh, Cloud space so that they could accommodate a larger number of players that you know just based on what they were seeing on the original stress test. Uh. Based on the original stress test, they they uh, they secured a whole bunch of um, Google Cloud space so they could run the virtual servers or whatever. But day one launch for anything that's an online service, I, I don't think I've ever seen one that's completely flawless. 
It could be a game issue, not your Yeah, maybe. I mean, I could, I could try uh, checking the stats. Hold on, let me check F2. Uh, my ping's running around 70. But 70, I mean... Uh, so, so while 70 was, isn't ideal, I'm not playing a first-person shooter game, so it's not exactly the worst either. I literally can't... I can't even get another realm. <laughs> Come on! Yeah, 70 is not awful. Like, it's not it's not the best, but it's also not terrible. Like I said, I'm not playing a first-person shooter, so it's not highly dependent on, like, rapid reaction time or anything. Return to Project Zomboid stream? Uh, you know, all day long, I've been watching other people play the game and being like, I can't stream right now because my internet's not cooperating. Can you do anything else? No, I have to get through this portal. I have to get out. Um... This area that we're in is like a is like a very temporal or a temporary byway. It's like just a stop off point. And from here, Puck gave us cards in order to access another world to get out of here. So if we go into the realm cards, he gave us this one here, the byway card, and the forest card. And so we're supposed to progress on to move on with the tutorial. But you have to put the cards in the machine in order to open the portal, and the machine's not letting me interact with it. Yeah, I'm gonna try a complete game shutdown and we'll restart. This is not, uh, this is not ideal. While I'm redoing that, I, I can show you the fancy hat they sent me. Headset down here. Dum, dum, dum. I don't know if my camera's aimed properly. We'll find out in a second. Watch cam. Ow, my chat's not working either. Look at my hat. <laughs> so the uh, the dev team sent me this hat out ahead of time. I got it just the other day. Uh, I did post it on social media, but uh, you might not have seen it before. So this game, if you haven't seen it before, is like a gas lamp style fantasy game. So a lot of the a lot of the clothing st choices are like these kinds of like funky brimmed top hats and like all the fancy lady dress and what have you. So in order to like uh, celebrate the launch of the game, they sent these out to a number of creators, which I thought was kind of cool. Give me a second here. I've got a jacket and t-shirt on. I was gonna wear a buttoned-up shirt earlier, but just to try to get the whole look going. That's how they didn't work. <laughs> Cause hey, it looks like a game hat. Yeah, it came from Hong Kong. It's a real hat. It's not even like, it's not even like a, like a, like a, like a fake little prop thing. Like you would get in like a costume shop. It's it's actually a, a legitimately well made hat. And strangely enough, it's even the right size for my head. And they didn't take measurements or anything ahead of time. I did not stream earlier. My internet was just. The bane of my existence. Um, so I didn't stream earlier. Uh, this is the first opportunity I've gotten to stream, and then as soon as we get into the tutorial area, I can't even get through the first portal to get out of there. So it's like I'm cursed today. I'm cursed. Curses and such. Yeah, that's yes, right. I had Victorian era internet. That's exactly what it was. Well, I I, uh, I was saying to Greg earlier on a on a post, I was like, you know, I uh, I just fed the the internet hamsters to the cat, and as it turns out, the upload the one I named upload was much slower than the one that was named download, so it got caught. Quick feed the mouse. The internet's fine. I'm like, it's my feed is good. Um, everything's good on that regard. It's just uh, the server's not responding. Old school, the super chat. Hi, Cryptic Fox. While your videos and the price, twenty six ninety nine, convinced me to buy. Happy realm wandering. Well, I hope you enjoy it. I literally can't even get out of the tutorial. <laughs> killing me, game. You're killing me. <laughs> Dustin with the super chat. I must ask you a question. How much cat hair does your fancy hat collect? A lot. <laughs> it collects a lot. I had to clean it off earlier. It was pretty brutal. It had like a second coating. 
Um, you know, it's funny that it let me interact first and then now it's not. Yeah, the stream's good. Now I can't get the game to cooperate. I've never had this problem when I've been playing before. I mean, my guy's even, like, running in place. Look at his arms going. It's like, I'm still running. I'm still running. Start a new game save. I'm going to have to, I think, yeah. Let's go back to the menu. Uh, Actually, if I could see what server I'm connected to, maybe. Where are we? Uh, NA East, so we're connected on the East Coast. It's not like I'm connected in a weird place. We'll try again. Uh, we'll try a whole new game save and see what happens. <sighs> Help, I'm stuck. Oh. <laughs> well, there we go. Network error occurred. Uh. I've been anxious to play this literally all day, and now I can't play it. I'm going to go cry in a corner now. <laughs> Try to make them at least similar. I'm not gonna we'll, like spin through this stuff really quick because I don't care about ancestry or anything. Skin tone, whatever. We'll go with like, ooh, that's a little greenish. Yeah, that's a little better. A little more healthy looking. Uh, hairstyle. What style did I pick? It was something up here. There we go. Color. Change that to quick dark brown. Facial hair. We gotta get our fancy stash back on. Not worried about any of this stuff. Makeup doesn't matter. Medium ne'er do well. We're good. Finalize. Let's try this again. <laughs> Before time itself. Why would it work when I'm involved? Exactly. Exactly. Just got home from work. I have to go back to work in about nine hours. Oh yeah. Okay, we can skip over this now. We just saw that already. Maybe not the, uh, no, no mutton chops. Maybe not the best way to show off my the game when it's not working for me. <laughs> Jesus. I swear to God. If I can't even get into the game, I'm just going to be so upset. Ugh. My anxiety made the game glitch. Maybe. My net is working. Yeah, I just randomly started working again. I don't know why. Typical cable company. They told me it wasn't their fault. Because it's pre-launch stress test. Look at it was. It ran great for me. They didn't. They didn't have too many problems with the stress test. But they they bumped up the amount of servers they were getting anyway. Just finished almost four hours of streaming. Very nice. With a. You have a camera with a hat while playing. Well, I didn't want to. I didn't want to block up the uh, the view of the game. Besides, I can't wear the headset uh, when I've got the hat on. That gets in the way. Which means I wouldn't be able to hear the game. Quickly. Before shadows abound, I take the trap. Skip through that quickly. We've got our realm cards in here. One and one. Please work. Please work. <gasps> yes. <laughs> All right, starting a new save works. Thank Fly, God. realm walker. Ryan stole my the internet. That's what it was. caught your despairing stench. Oops. I should pay attention to what I'm doing. I crashed your whole computer on first start? Really? Yeah, I couldn't get through the machine for a little bit there, and then we started up a new save and it worked, so thank goodness for that. Hopefully we don't have any similar problems. We have to jump through a few portals to get even to the, the core game world. We're just doing into the tutorial space right now. Once we get through that, we'll get to the regular world. Hopefully we don't have any more portal problems on the way. Because I'll just have to cry or something. Say hello to the machine. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I didn't watch what I was doing and I got all those bound on me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you gotta move quickly. <laughs> Count thyself among the fortunate few who manage to flee. The Nightingale still stands, but Earth teeters on the brink. And these, the gift I promised should aid thy cause. A hermetic guidebook and pocket watch. Purloined off the corpse of a realm walker, with the man-made network sundered. Entrust me to find the trail forward through in the interim. 
I hear your stomach snarling. Oh, under this mask, you wonder. I am Puck. Robin to some. Oberon's merry wanderer of the night. So I don't I don't really know a ton about like Fey lore and that kind of stuff. But if I'm not mistaken, I think Puck was like the trickster who used to steal children and turn and like bring them to the Fey lands in order to make them into Fey. I may be mistaken, so don't quote me on that, but uh, it does make me wonder whether we should really be trusting that guy. Yeah, fuck the the known uh, the known trickster. Yeah. Uh, all right, we need some uh, in the top right there. We got a, our first quest. We need to find some berries and then eat them. I thought there was a berry bush back here. I saw. There we go. There's some. We're gonna need a, we're gonna need a few berries. What's going on, Emily? I just want salad. You want salad? Well, I can't help you right now. I'm streaming. That hat looks fun fan kind of funky on you. <laughs> it's a little big beer head. I did. Okay, let's uh, eat berries. That brings up the next thing. Acquire rocks. I gotta get up some more berries, too. Should cook those up. Maybe savings now is a good... Well, this is all server-based, so there is no saving. I, I, like, I, I don't have a local save for the game at all. It all runs on the... Uh, on the... Uh, on the servers for... Um, uh, inflection. And they're using uh, the Google Cloud... server system or whatever for that. So nothing I can save, unfortunately. Emily, I'm trying to stream, honey. Could you please be a little more quiet? Okay. She's destroying my basement. <laughs> I'm gonna take some extra barriers because uh, we can kick, we can take supplies and stuff with us through to the next portal. And more food equals more gooder. It'll, it'll let us progress a little more quickly. Picture of the ill fitting hat. Yeah, long blonde hair cascading out from underneath the hat. It's actually very cute. Not something I could put online because she's only 11 and I don't really want to share pictures of my 11 year old, but... Anyway, this is where we cook our food. Uh, I can put some sticks in here. I know, honey. Okay. Roast the berries. Oh, I still only had enough for one. Oh no, there we go. I got three. There we go. Maddie with a 43 month of our message. Wait, Griffith's getting berries and rocks? Is this a fancy Minecraft? It pretty much is. Yep. Pretty much is. Does this have motion blur? It does. I have it turned off, I think. Let me just double check. Video. Enable motion blur. So in motion blur is an option, but I have it turned off right now. Uh, we need to eat said berries now. avoided embarrassment by staving off starvation. We must carry forth whilst this byway is aligned with another. The portal stands nearby. Delay not. All right, through to the next portal. Out of the way, dear. We got places to be. Hold on a second, everybody, sorry. Hi, right, everybody. Yes. Samia. Yes. Open the portal. Samia. Hey, hey. Emily. Turn the stream. So, Alex, you finally got online. What did you find out the problem was? Uh, I didn't. It just randomly started working again. I have a technician that's supposed to be coming out tomorrow afternoon. So, when I, when I was talking with their tech support, they did the usual thing of saying, oh, it's not our problem. We don't see any issues in your area. So run through this long checklist of all your troubleshooting things. And then after doing all that, they're like, well, we can't figure out what the problem is. So we're going to have to schedule a tech to come out. And I was like, oh, that's great. Um, so the earliest they could get someone to come out is tomorrow. But then this this afternoon or this evening or whatever, around 630, 
it just randomly started working again. I would I was checking it all day long because I was so frustrated that I couldn't stream earlier. Uh, because I wanted to be live for the release of the game. Summer runs through my being as blood runs through yours. How be it? Enduring the elements is part of the Realm Walker's folly. Whether this pleases or not, without shelter and the means to defend it, you'll not last long. Okay, so we gotta build a stick shelter. So like 6.30, it just randomly fired up and started working again. I, could, I was getting normal upload speeds. And I was like, well, isn't that just a kick in the pants? But at least it's working. So, you know, there is that. May not have worked when I wanted it to, but it is working. We're going to skim through this world quickly. This is what the desert biome looks like. Uh, when you're in the desert, as soon as you get out in the sun, you immediately start to build up that hot debuff or whatever. I don't know what you want to call it. The hot status indicator. But you can clear it just by getting in the shade. Um, it is dangerous in the desert, though. Like You overheat and things get bad. All right, we'll build down here, I guess. Uh, if you haven't noticed it, it does use a blueprint system, so you put down the blueprint and then you like slap in your materials after that. And then it all builds. Uh, when you're doing larger buildings, all the connected pieces take the materials at the same time. So you just sort of build up all your blueprints and then go from there. Uh, in the bottom left, the, uh, the UI, you might have noticed if you watched the videos before, it's changed. So the bottom left, you got your red health bar. The blue bar is for restedness, like when you're tired, that will, uh, that will go down. Uh, the hunger bar is the green one below that, and then next to it are two, um, well, there's only one left now. This is, this is your buffs, similar to, like, a Valheim, you can have three food buffs active at any given time. And they'll affect things like your health and your stamina, regeneration, that, that sort of thing. <laughs> Eat more eggs. There's no eggs in this game that I've seen. Alright, we need to, uh, we need to craft... So, uh, we'll start off with the sickle first, I think, because I can use that to get more materials more quickly. Uh, we'll get the hunting knife, because I know we need that. We so said, what if I had enough plant fiber? It's interesting, these aren't in red. Normally the color changes on these when you don't have the materials in order to make them. I got plant fiber, but we got, uh, we got a sickle, so that'll be an easy job. Sickle or scythe, what do you want to call it? Does food spoil? Uh, not that I've noticed, no. Some of the food buffs don't last very long, though. Like, cooked berries? You get, like, a two-minute buff off it. It's really not... It's not a very long duration. Alright. Should be able to craft some of these other things now. Uh, we'll go with the hunting knife next. I guess we'll make the axe. I'll put that in my number one spot. We need the mining pick. And then... Torch is last. Just gotta rearrange it the way I like them. Torches in my offhand. So this... In, in this game, you've got... Um, you've got... The the hot bar on the right is all of your offhand items, and then the one on the left is all your like uh, your main hand items, including things that you use two handed, like your axe. It slipped my skull that Earth's great citadels resulted from decades of toil. You'll need better woodworking skills than that when we reach our destination proper. Let us depart. And speak of your ill-favored constructs no more. It's thrown shade on my building structures, man. What the? I've never seen those particular things knock the trees over before. It's like it's harvesting. That's funny. Huh. All right. Uh, even though we're in a tutorial, there is sometimes stuff hidden in these little buildings and stuff. So we're going to take a quick peek here. We might find a chest that can give us some materials. I won't read all these little pop-ups that come up here. Uh, if you play the game yourself, these add a bunch of lore about uh, escaping. If, if you're not familiar with the backstory in the game, the, the general premise is that 
in like the 1500s, the Fae showed up and they they shared their um oops what's going on here uh there we go uh they shared their knowledge of magic with humans and then the humans used that to build uh portals that they were able to use to get into the fey realms and i'm i'm getting disconnected again i think <sighs> just for the super chat was the scythe ill because it was a sickle ha <laughs> God. Not gonna take free wood. Um, no, nah, I'm not super worried about the wood. <laughs> just wanna, just wanna play the game. Let's see if I can. I can't even. I can't even equip my weapons and stuff. I guess I've. It's showing that I've got the axe or whatever, but I've, I actually have the dagger equipped right now. Let's see if we can interact with the portal. I suspect not, though. I'll take some of the wood with me, I guess. You don't have enough backpack space? Yeah, you don't start off with a backpack, so your inventory is... Uh, your inventory is pretty, uh, pretty light at the beginning in terms of what you can carry. This is, uh, this is going great so far. <laughs> I, the entire time I've ever played this game, I've never had these kind of problems. They glitched my game for amusement, yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, this is always an online game, um, but like I said, I, I haven't had any problems with connectivity up to this point. I think the, um... Everybody, like, logging into play tonight, it's probably affecting it. Um, there might even be an, another chest up higher here, if we can climb up a little higher. You can mantle on things a little bit. This dagger, incidentally, is, like, awesome. Not for so much for combat, but for like getting around, it's uh, it has this dodge ability. So the 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 pickaxe and the regular the felling axe or whatever they uh, they have like a block when you right click. But this one, when you do the right click, it, it does a dodge, which you can use to like dash forward. Great for like crossing gaps or and once you get the um, there's an umbrella you can get in the game that uh... oh crap oh that's gonna kill me. Oh, I didn't. Okay. Uh, the server timed out again. Probably right before I jumped. <laughs> Another reminder to check your super chat. Oh, sorry, Jess. Oh, I read your I read your super chat. Was the site filled because it was a sickle? I did read it. Okay, I've got to get out of this tutorial world. I wonder if it's just the tutorial world that's this bad. Uh, I didn't get the umbrella yet. We get that in the swamp, actually. We'll go there next if I can get through the portal, which is kind of a big if. Oh my god. Yeah, now you got two for one reading super chance. That's good value right there. <laughs> uh... You know, it's funny. I was watching somebody play earlier and they were not having any of these disconnection issues. Yeah, my, me my memory may be bad, but it did catch it. Am I have tops again? I am. I don't really need this torch in hand. We can put that away. There we go. There's a chest. Oh, we got cards in here. So we got the Harvester's Workshop card. Um... Craft tools that offer greater yield and reduce stamina, but they do lower damage. And we got the Weighted Eminent card. Play this card to increase the damage you deal and the efficiency of your harvesting while weighing down your body and limiting the efficiency of your stamina. So, less efficient stamina, but greater yield on harvesting. If you're gathering resources or something, I guess that could be handy. Let's get out of here before this thing crashes on me again. Like I said, I really hope once I get out into a regular world, I don't have these problems. 
All the worlds in the game are dynamically generated, except for the tutorial ones. They're all the same for everybody. They don't change. Finally, our time has come. The pale surrounds the city. Oh, yeah. So I was saying before, the lore of the game is basically um, so that the Fae come to, the, to Earth and they uh, they show us magic we use to create portals that we use to cross into the Fae Realm. But at some point, there's this this entity that's called the Pale. It's like this fog that goes comes rolling out of the gate in, that it was built in Paris. And it envelopes the world, and everyone who's inside it is in like some sort of like suspended animation or something, or they're dead. I don't know what the deal is, but anyone who gets taken by the cloud, they don't come back out again. So humans decided to flee into the portals to escape it. And now we're stranded in the Fey world, trying to find the city of Nightingale, which was like the last bastion of humanity that was built in the Fey realms. But the portal network all collapsed, and so nobody knows like the portal address to get there. It's kind of like Stargate, <laughs> only, you know, more If not Fae for fancy. Astaroth's decree, this trek would have been as easy as peach pie. The bound guard fey archways that align with temporal realms. While I know man's impulse is to flee, without pluck, you're sure to expire. Once this fen is within our wake, a fine morsel of knowledge I shall bequeath. Okay, so we need to kill some predators and then, uh. Oh, there's one right away. Get wrecked. What game did- what difficulty did I set the game at? I think I said- I must have set it at normal, because that guy died really quick. I know I took the normal level gear, but I meant to make the, uh, the game difficulty hard. That's alright, I guess. It's alright, it's alright. Oh, let's have a little snack while we're at it. Get some of that fancy stamina back. <laughs> What do we got here for resources? I've got eight rocks. We've got a few more. This is the swamp biome. So far, the game only has three biomes. There's the forest, the swamp, and the desert. Uh, they are working on adding some more, although they didn't have any information to share on what those would be. survive longer than normal yeah it shouldn't be it shouldn't be too much of a problem initially these things are like some sort of weird reptilian kangaroo thing yeah you got mail oh wait what is that I didn't notice they added this little button on here, so you can turn, make the visibility of this on or off. If you want to see the things you're picking up, you can just leave it on, or if not, you can click it off. That's cool. That was not there before when I played. Telephone internet sound, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, I'm 47. Same age I made the character. These things are dying super easy. This is definitely, uh, definitely on an easier mode than I would have intended. I don't even know if I could change it mid-game, actually. Never tried. I can mess with it now, though. So we gotta make a makeshift capelet. You can do that in here. Uh, right here. Craft up one of those suckers. It doesn't look as dashing as the as the clothing I had on, but it does have better stats. So it's almost like the clothes that we had were not exactly well equipped for a survival environment, but uh, they just look more dapper. It's not a cape; it's a cape lit. Different. I don't want to see what I'm picking up. We got bound bristle. Oh, tin. Those are containers of tin. That's interesting. Oh, those are going to be heavy. Where's my... Yeah, I'm already at 37 and a half. I gotta watch my carry weight. I only have 50 to start with. Should be more chests up here somewhere. 
258 on Sunday. Very nice. Very nice. Happy early birthday. 12 gauge buckshot cartridge. Oh, is this Barton? Uh, ceramic sandstone. Some leather. That's going to put me in close to max weight already. I haven't even gotten through the tutorial yet. Paper. Paper. Lumber. We got some more ceramic sandstone, and now I'm overweight. Okay. I don't have a direct use for the ceramic sandstone right now. So I'm going to extract like half of it. Turn it into essence. That was not enough. We'll extract half of this too, I guess. Well, I'll keep, keep like eight of it. So we'll get rid of like four. That gets me under the threshold. In this game, everything you can put in your inventory, you can extract into essences. And then the essences are used for repairing your equipment and also for... Aw, oh, come on. <laughs> oh, it's crashing again. Look at that tower fully and got overweight really quick. Yeah, with all the metal and stuff that's here, it's pretty hard not to, right? 50 is the new 30. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'm as immature as I was when I was 30, but... Uh, I don't think that counts for much, because guys are always immature. We can just admire the view while we wait for the server to kick me out again. There's the Fey portal over there for the next realm. We could go to that other tower over there, because um, everything that's in the... Uh, it's in the tutorial realm. Like I said, you can loot it and stuff and take things with you, but... still think it's worth it. What's my upload now? It's uh, running around 25 to 30 megabits per second, where it was at like 1. So it's um, it's back in the normal range. My uh, my internet provider hard limits it at 30. Unfortunately, I really wish I could get a different provider, but I can't. What's this maturity you speak of? It's that thing that, that uh, adults in the 50s used to have. You know, when they would come home and complain with their wife and then sit Eat dinner, read the paper, have the kids bring them their slippers, that kind of thing. All sounds very boring. I can't. Am I still in the chest? No, that's what it was. Okay, where's my umbrella? <laughs> the umbrella is surprisingly useful in this game. Not only because rain and hail is a problem, but it's an anti gravity device, it's like a little glider. See what's in this chest down here. <laughs> oh, this is really gonna put me overweight. I don't really need the shingle. You know what? I'll take it all. I'm gonna scrap more things. I don't have any use for the shingles right now, so we'll get rid of those. Um, the tin I can't even smelt. Carved stone, granite. I want to hold on to that because I'm gonna need that at, for something in particular that I know of shortly. Uh, I'm gonna extract, like, half of this ore. There we go. Alright, the fate portal was, uh, over that way. That didn't work. What happened? <laughs> Why didn't my knife work? Uh, I sprained my ankle. I wonder if that was a server lag, or I just let myself fall too far before I tried to use it. Correct, jerk. I should make a fire and cook some meat, actually. Since I have to cook meat and make a healing salve, too. Okay, all this can go in here. Whip up some meat quickly. Can feel that in the morning. Yeah, it was a bit of a rougher landing than I was planning for. Have a good night, Cheryl. Is it only first person? No, you can hit F5 and go into third person. I, I just prefer playing in first person. Um, I think the um, the, uh, the the third person view is still a work in progress. 
So I don't, I don't know at all what like combat and stuff is like with this. It, oh, that's wow. That's, yeah, definitely. Oh, oh, he went far. So it, it technically works, but uh, I don't think it's as good as the uh, first person view. The only recently, oh, well, quote unquote, recently added uh, third person as an option. The game is designed to be a first person view game. Do you fast travel back to your home? I can't right now because I'm just in the tutorial. So once we get through the tutorial, you can. You get an area that's uh, classified as your respite. Uh, and that's um, that's where you'll fast travel to. You build this thing that's called an estate cairn. Uh, and you can fast travel back to it. You can even go go directly to it from other worlds. So even if you're not in the, the realm that your base is in, you can still fast travel to it. Literally should not be a person on Earth that doesn't buy this game. It's pretty amazing. I've seen some mixed reviews for it. I, I, I have a feeling it's not necessarily going to be everyone's cup of tea. But uh, I really like it, and I'm gonna I'm gonna get kicked out again. <laughs> I really like it, aside from the fact that I'm having all kinds of server problems right now. An estate Karen is supposed to an apartment Karen. That's right. <laughs> supposed to your local Karen. <laughs> Hate fantasy, don't buy it. Also, screw you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I've seen some people that were like, oh, you know, the, the combat is not what I think it should be. Um. <laughs> Did you see that? Certainly there are server problems right now, but that's to, you know, that's really not uncommon with online games. Uh, one of the other things that I've seen people complain about is that... Um, it is an always online game, so you do have to connect to their servers in order to play it. Um, that's not a breaking point for me, although I'm having problems with it right now. In the normal course of events, that's not going to be an issue. But for some people, you know, uh, they may not have internet that's capable of doing that, or um, they may not like the idea of constantly having to be online all the time. So, you know, there's going to be some mixed, uh, mixed feelings that way, I think. Flying hamsters, that's right. That was my internet hamster, that's where it went. You leave those hamsters alone. I need those to ruin my interwebs. Cloud gaming, yeah, it's using the, um, the Google Cloud as the servers. Okay, item repair. So this is where we get to use some of those fancy essences we made. Uh, what do I got that's actually damaged? I'll quickly repair this, I guess. Pink. Turn to Puck. Where are you hiding, Puck? There he is. You've stolen life to preserve your own. Now, I've led you about around. First, you must oblige your inner essence and choose the landscape that beckons. So we can choose our starting ah, realm, forest, desert, or swamp. No need for words. Uh, I'm gonna go no with the forest, for. just because it's it's abundant with the materials and stuff. And I plan to move off that first world relatively quickly anyway, rather than set up too big of a home there. Um, the swamp is is okay, but uh, that's where we are right now. You have to watch out for the swamp water, and there are some nasty creatures in the swamp in this game. The desert's particularly challenging as a starting point because of the heat. You're like constantly struggling with the heat all the time. Um, but we're gonna go to the forest the again. I'm gonna move off the first world um, relatively soon. You can build your base Play anywhere you your want cards, to. But beware, the bound will storm once the archway rouses. He wants me to crack their pitiable skulls. He's not going away, which concerns me that I may be disconnecting again. Yep. I can't change that. I'm disconnecting. <laughs> the server's power, so that means it doesn't overtack your sixth. Yeah, it like it, I think there's pluses and negatives to all of it. Particularly since um, um, you can play multiplayer in this as well. You can have up to six people playing in a given realm. And the cool thing, too, is you can have your own realm set up. So, like, maybe you and your friends each have your own realm set up. 
and there's a card you can create that you can give to the other play the other people you want to play with and they can use that card to come to your realm anytime they want to even when you're not there so obviously you want to give it only to people that you trust because you don't want them like coming and trashing your stuff on you but that um it makes for like a persistent world set up that way which is kind of nice World needs more single player games. Well, yeah, for sure. This doesn't happen to be one of them. I mean, you can play it single player like I am, but it's, uh, it's not a single player game per se. So we gotta go to the Abeyance Realm, which is the, uh, the first realm that we get that will be our own. Oh. You've, you stopping me? What's Puck want? Oh, we got rid of you already. You've stolen life. Oh, he's doing his. First, you must oblige Same your text. Uh, we're going for the mystery of the whole. Play your cup. Okay, we got the card. Let's get out of here. Like less interdependency for games? Yeah, like I said, I mean, it's uh, there are some people who are not going to be happy about it. Some people like me who just won't care. Uh. I don't know, it is what it is. I think they've had some talk internally about whether they want to like have servers that people can stand up to play. Um, no idea whether they intend to actually do that, but I know they have they have at least discussed it internally. I got two of the abeyance cards now because of the uh, the little server kick out there. That's funny. Remain vigilant. While the realm's alive. Kind of broads work wonders for internet hamsters motivation. Just saying. Also wanted to use my frequent flyer mouse member message before it expired. So I'll say love the streams and bids. Well, thanks, Anarchy. Appreciate the 14 months of support. Hope to try the cattle prod technique on the hamsters. Ah, oh, stamina. It's my common mantra. I love the headshots. Yeah, I plan on the two step uh two step forward, one step back server for sure. Because I'm hopeful once I get out of the tutorial realms that it'll behave a little more normally. Yeah, right, you jerks. Okay. Please let me in. Please let me in. Realm Walker. Your path forward is winding and full of terrors. Save yourself. Survive the realms. And rebuild all that has been lost. You always get a welcoming committee when you change realms? Yeah, pretty much. Well, when you first open the portal to a realm anyway. If you reopen an existing portal, because the connection between two worlds will stay, but the portal will close. And then you can go back and just choose reopen and it will pop it back open again. That, um... That connection remains even with the portal closed. And so when you reopen it, it doesn't have the bound come back out again. But when you go to travel to a new place where you're putting in new cards, the, the bound come out. There's like a personal, uh, later on, there's like a like a crude portal you can make yourself. It's a player crafted one instead, and that one doesn't seem to have the bound come out of it. Ah, we made it. With the byways left behind, your beginnings have ended. This realm has long been forgotten by the Fae. It does stay between Left game in sessions, limbo, yeah. But beware. In short time, darkness will descend, and with it, Stygian perils. While you play Carpenter, there are nooks in these surrounding wilds I must scrub for the knowledge I pledged. Sweet. 
Okay, so this is the first realm that is uh, dynamically generated. So everyone's everyone's world here will be a little bit different. Uh, we're out of the tutorial realms now that we're sort of all pre-planned, where everyone has them the same. Uh, we're way over here on the west coast. Uh, up here is where there's an essence trader. We're going to want to go there because see we have to do some stuff there. Uh, the fate portal's way down here on the, uh, the southeast corner. So what I might do is quickly throw up a... Well, actually, I'm going to go there at the end when we're ready to skip out of here. Oh, and then we have the Realmic Transmuter here that we can use to modify with cards. I'm going to see if I have anything worth playing. Uh, the Harvester and the Weighted Eminem. I'm not going to play either one of those. So we're going to go all the way over here. I'm just going to throw a beacon down so I can see it on my heads-up display. Uh, and from here, we'll uh, we'll build our, our little first shelter to sleep in. I'm not going to make anything fancy because I want to get off this world. We're going to go to the Antiquarian Realm where we can start getting... Some of the higher, well, the tier one essences anyway, a little higher than the ones we can get right now. We'll start collecting those early if we can. We'll go for the nooks and grannies. Mm, nooks and grannies. Not enough stamina. Come on. Getting all wet now. Scenery in this game is amazing. Like I think, the, like in the environmental detail is just something else. This skybox that we have here is relatively simple, though it looks really nice. There's some nighttime skyboxes that are pretty incredible looking. Oh, there's a cave right there. Probably acts as a little dungeon, actually. Oh, oh, Jesus! <laughs> Spiders. Where'd they come from? God, I'm not really prepared for these. They're, uh... Oh, oh yeah, I need to run. Those are tougher than I was... than I'm ready for right now. Ah! Getting like a little bit of lagginess. They're still attacking me. I'm poisoned. Ah, you little jerks. I think I... Does this cure poison? I don't even know if it does. It does. Good. <laughs> Welcome to the world. This is the Abeyance Realm, where things are not supposed to be as dangerous. Apparently, don't mess with the spiders. Found our first, our first Bastille, Bastille of Interlect. Oh, and pigs too. Pig, here we go. Bacon's back on the menu. Oh, that hurt. Weighed down by my inventories. Alright, this is an easy one. This little puzzle will open up a thing that gives me access to a craft. I don't think we can craft. And then, this little glowing thing inside here is a boon. There's like, it can do one of three different things and it'll cycle through it. You can choose what kind of boon you want to get. This gives me the hide wall sconce so we can put lights in our place. So we've got favor power, favor of soaring, favor of endurance. I'm gonna take that one because that'll give me a stamina buff for a little bit. Um, let's get rid of some of the bacon. We don't need this necessarily. We'll extract that just to save weight. I need to get rid of a little bit more. There we go. We can move again. I can ride a bike again. You don't have erectophobia. 
Oh, that's a good speech to text mistake right there. When I was in high school, the uh, the town that I lived in had a thing. Uh, <laughs> one of our festivals show up in Jay Leno. You know, like when you would read the. Uh, I don't know if you've ever watched Jay Leno. I, I might be dating myself here. Um. He would read like the headlines or whatever from uh, like funny newspaper articles, and uh, they had this this annual rose festival, and they had printed out the guidebook for it that they then distributed across the city so that you know people would be aware of what was going on during the annual rose festival. And the the whole in, the whole intro thing to it was all like. Oh, it's all, you know, it's about celebration of love and friendship and community and all this stuff. And then they made a typo at the end and they said, so, you know, we hope everyone will come out to our anal festival. Anyway, it ended up on Jay Leno. <laughs> okay, this is our, uh, this is our first sign of power here, too. Uh, over here is the, the traitor and stuff we want to talk to. We're gonna set up shop here really quickly. I don't need a fancy building, but we'll build something small. <clears throat> Just a little, a little something, something. Hopefully, I can put these stick down here. I don't think it'll be a problem. I gotta get more. I gotta get more stones. <laughs> anal festival it happens every uh, uh, anally at the same time. <laughs> That's right. It was it was quite the uh, quite the typo. We all had a good laugh about it, and then it showed up on Jay Leno. We're like, oh my god, our town's on Jay Leno. Which as a teenager was you know particularly funny for me, but then again, maybe I'm a little twisted. I'm not sure. Bye -bye. All right, we got our estate cairn built. So this is now our house, in the middle of the street, our house. Your tenacity overrules the gusts of fate. And this fay you have pleased. Settled here, you'll soon wish to venture farther. Fortunately, both are close at hand. And here is the knowledge that Robin's friendship affords. Across this realm lie sights of power sealed by your kin long ago. Forsworn by fay. Even longer still, there are many sites, each granting access to ever more distant spheres. Nearest, though, the Antiquarium. You must first gain entry, passing through a seal forged by those last children of Earth. Their gates bar access to those unworthy, but I see that strange, hopeful spark within you. Once within, Delve ever deeper toward the pedestal. Upon it lies the means to craft the card you require. Hurry now, fleshly, and prepare. There we go. Uh, yeah, holding out E picks up everything at once. I, I did put out a tip video last week. Uh, it was probably a little bit early, given uh, most people didn't have access to the game yet. Um, but uh, I sort of collected like 25 different tips or whatever from things that I learned playing earlier in the game. Uh, that I thought people might find useful. So feel free to check that out. Uh, but yeah. E, picking everything up at once with a, with E is really easy. Okay, so he gave us some uh, crude building materials. So now we can actually build ourselves a little base. I'm going to build it out of uh, stone blocks, I think. Just because they'll be easiest to gather right here. Uh, and I'm not going to do anything fancy. Maybe we'll just do it like too wide. I don't need it to be anything dramatically huge. I don't imagine most people will tackle it this way. Um, I think for the average starting player, you'll probably build up first and explore a lot more in this realm before you kind of skip off world. Um, but I want to try to get into the next realm earlier, earlier than later. So we can start to get some of those um, the better essences. We'll need to upgrade our gear and then get access to the other sites of power. This this is the first site of power right here. That's the door up there at the top to enter it. And the one that... Um... 
Really? There we go. <laughs> Apparently I just forgot to pick the stuff up. Um, this is the one that Puck told us to go into, the Antiquarian Site of Power. Alright, we need a uh, crude stone door frame. We'll place that down on the end, I guess. If anyone was watching Brian's stream earlier, I saw all of you uh, giving him flack about uh, how he would build like the ultimate um, newbie box or whatever. That's what I'm going to make. We'll build a, a nicer place on the next world over, maybe. I gotta, I gotta get some storage in here, though. I can't. Uh, I literally can't step up there. <laughs> oh, plus I'm hungry, I guess. If we eat this, it might help. Storage. All I can make are these little, these little hamper things initially. So I'll we'll put a couple of these down here, I guess. I've got six bound bristle on me. That's cool. Uh, there's a lot of different types of these each ma each material too. So like, I've already got two different types of hide right now, but there's more we can get as we go along based on the types of prey that we're killing. Your inventory gets full like super quick. I've noticed. Let's get some more rocks. Threw a rock at him. It was a big rock. Not just you having connection problems, by the way. The servers are just overworked, maybe. It probably, like, like I said, they, um, they're they not locally housed. They, um, they're they using uh, the Google, uh, Google Cloud for it. And it, it should have been okay. And so the way the servers are working for this is um, every world is, uh, every world instance is its own separate server. I gotta get more logs. Um, oh, this guy's been chopping stuff over here. Very nice. Uh, anyway, it's every uh, every world is its own server. So like this world that I'm in right now, when I open the portal and I go to another Fey world, that's a that's its own separate server kind of thing. But if there's nobody left in this one, it doesn't have to keep it active. So um, it's not like everyone's sharing like one big server set, like you would in like a, a massively multiplayer game or something. So theoretically, it should be more stable, but. It has been a little funky tonight. The tutorial realms might be different, though. I don't, I don't know if those are handled the same way. Yeah, because the tutorial server was awful. We haven't had problems since I got into this realm. But the tutorial one was brutal. Which I guess is kind of to be expected, because there's so many new players right now. Being day one and all. Call them shards, usually. I want to buy this game so bad, but I hate the fact that you play... Can't play offline. Yeah. See, like I said, that, that will be a... I'm sure that'll be a breaking point for some people. It doesn't bother me any, but I, I can see how for some it might. So I get it. Uh, I need uh, two more stone. Oh, Puck's back. How far you've come, Hands back. and yet how little you possess. Is it an ascetic purity that keeps thee bound to such homely presentation? Dude, just called my house homely. These wilds, your kind have proliferated with haste. Industrious, and more than willing to avail amidst your ever-growing need. Anyway, he wants us to go see the essence trader, which conveniently is right there. That's why I set up over here. <laughs> what a horrible little hovel we've designed. <laughs> uh, in here we can build some simple workbenches and stuff, so we'll throw one of these down. 
Um, I'm going to have to have room in here for a bed and a fire and stuff. I'll put the fire at the very end, maybe. Because we want to be able to cook. We have to get our gear score up to level 20 before the game's going to let us into the... Uh, into the portal that's here for the, uh, the site of power. Let's put five wood in there for now. All this can go in there. I need a roof on this place, I guess. That might be a thing to build. Right now we have very, very little that we can build in terms of, like, um craftable structures and stuff. Uh, we'll get to unlock a lot more as we play. Drop the lessons on the ground. Long and narrow. Like a jail cell, don't ask me how I know. <laughs> oh, like a jail cell, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely dark. Okay, we could put, uh, I guess put like a torch in the end of the wall, but uh, I don't have the stuff I need to be able to craft some of the components of it, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. Uh, I gotta get more wood, too. It's, yeah, shotgun shack. The square ones that suck? Or the square buildings? Can you give me the definition of that word? Wait, of which word? <laughs> Funky? Is that the word you're talking about? <laughs> if you're planning to play the game, just know that uh, falling trees can damage your structures. When I was, uh, when I was doing the videos for the channel last week. At one point I had the NPC chop down a tree and drop it right on my building on me. <laughs> I didn't I wasn't recording at the time. I was just doing some like basic stuff. And he uh he dropped the tree on my uh on my house and like split it in half. It was great. I love you're just walking around with a burrito in your hand. Yeah, I don't think you can actually put things away in your left hand. If you hit H, you can put both of your things away, but as soon as you take a tool out again... Oh, look, the oh, I did clear my offhand. Nice. Okay, that's good. Score. Uh, you didn't used to be able to put stuff away. So that's a change, too. Alright, uh, this is a whole bunch of information about building traits, but basically you want to build uh, crafting benches and stuff inside because you'll notice that uh, if you inspect them, they'll have a, 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 a feature related to them. This one shows that it's sheltered, um, so it decreases crafting time by 10 seconds, so it speeds up the crafting process by having it indoors. If you have it sitting out on the ground, it gets gritty, and that will slow it down too. And if we light the fire, that should create light, which then I think adds another. Yep, so now it's warm, so we get a buff related to that. Time to time increased by 10 seconds, and it's well lit, so it's increased by another 10 seconds. So, you want to have some of these things in your base to uh, to speed up some of these processes for you. That way your crafting will go a little bit quicker. Uh, let's throw down a bed. Get my rest in there. I need to, uh, I need to eat some more. should probably cook up some other food, too, because I'm a little bit limited on my food options right now. Oh, no. I think I'm going to DC. I can't interact with stuff again. No! Why, game? Oh, there used to be a repair all button down here, too. It's not... Oh, there it is. <laughs> Literally in front of me. Uh, yeah, I'm getting DC'd. 
Dies of carbon monoxide, yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with a little fire in your house? I'm sure it's fine. About to fire your companion every time you get ready to shoot something, he chops a tree in front of your face. Nice. You can also just unequip his axe and let him walk around with it, and then only re-equip it when you want him to chop. It's kind of annoying sometimes even having them um like clear they like little clear cut around your house. If you if you leave them with the axe equipped, they'll just chop every tree in the neighborhood. Which isn't always what you want. Sometimes you want to keep some stuff around. Boop, DC'd. I'm hopeful that by tomorrow and the day after this the servers will calm down. With everybody playing today for the first time, I'm sure they're just getting slammed, but no, you don't get to pick your server. It just it just does it automatically. Let them fill a box and give them a sickle. <laughs> it's out. It's out. How's your internet? Uh, it's working okay tonight. It was not working okay earlier. It was really problematic. So far tonight, it's good. I I'm having server problems instead with the game. But uh, again, I kind of expected that a little bit. I was hoping it would be a little bit more stable with the instanced way they're, run they're handling it all. But um, day one of a game launch where it's online is almost inevitably a problem that way. Uh, I need to repair my stuff, so let's repair all. I'm going to bust out my umbrella so I don't get rained on. Ain't nobody got time for that. Uh, I would like to do some upgrades for these things, but I'm going to need to do first is build the simple tanning station. <laughs> I'm actually... I, I might have... I might have under-constructed for space here. Oh, I need plant fiber. Might have overdone it with my, uh... My small building. <laughs> We'll see. It could be a challenge getting space for things in there. Probably want to do a 4x4. Well, I'm not intending to build this one really big right now. I'm, I was just, um, I wanted to build something small to get done what I need to to try to get off world quickly to the antiquarium realm. Because I want to try to get my hands on uh, some of the S's and stuff a little bit quicker. That way we can upgrade our equipment and stuff, and then I'll focus on making the base bigger. All this grass I'm harvesting, I can actually break down for essence too. That's the cheapest way I found to get essence for buying stuff. Gotta leave room for the yoga mat. <laughs> You can't get wet? Oh, you can get wet. If I put the umbrella away, you'll see there's a, a wet debuff that builds up in the middle. Oh, I'm getting hailed on now. Hail actually causes damage, so you don't really want to be out in that. It also damages your equipment, so... Again, not something you want to hang around in. Uh, but the umbrella will keep the water off so that you don't get that debuff, which lowers your stamina. Uh, I need to make um, some leather straps, so... Do that here. Um, each each type of material you put in has different stats associated with it. So, like, if I use the Predator skin, it gives max health plus 10%. If I use the Prey skin, it gives max stamina 10%. So they, um... That's partly why there's just so many different options. It's because they, uh, they give different types of benefits. Am I streaming longer tonight? Yeah, I'm planning to... Well, I started early, so I, I went live just after 8 o'clock Eastern. Play till at least midnight. Might no, might go till one o'clock Eastern. We'll see. I gotta play catch up. I missed out on the time that I wanted to play earlier, so we could make progress. Especially since I had to restart. I couldn't just I couldn't use the world that I was already making videos with. A 
Full straps. Uh, I'm gonna need more stone blocks. Uh, those are all potions and such. Make some more food options here. I intended to do that earlier, then I forgot. Alright, first things first, we gotta upgrade tools, but ooh, let's make a sling bow. That'll be step number one. Uh, we'll go with the predator skin for that. Slingbow is like this cross between a, a slingshot and a crossbow. It's kind of neat. Sort of a novel idea, anyway. Uh, we'll need some ammo for it, though, so we'll craft that. Each one of these makes 20, so we'll I know, make like 60 shots. Oh, food. That next size machine? <laughs> oh, yeah. Why? Well, yes, it is. Made a slingbow, but you couldn't find the dang arrows. There's no arrows. It's uh, it's uh, yeah. It's it uses marbles. So if you go to your workbench, it's the uh, the simple rock marble is what you'll start with. So when I when I have this and you load it up, there's your slingbow. Aiming with it is kind of funky sometimes, but uh, it's pretty good. I mean, for a starting weapon anyway. All right, I need to eat some different food so I get some different buffs here. We got uh, mixed plants. Uh, let's zoom that. So that one's going to give me max health 25, max stamina 30, health regeneration, a small stamina regen buff. This meat gave me extra health, extra health regen. And then this other one over here would give me higher max stamina again as well, same as the other mixed plants, but it's even higher still. 39 stamina that one gives. I want to make the axe next, probably. I need stone blocks for that. It's still raining, but we'll get a little wet. It's alright. We're ne'er do well anyway. We probably need our stuff cleaned. If I was smart, I would get the uh, the NPC right now. So you can recruit the NPCs here and have them as like a part of your team. They'll follow you around and do stuff, carry things. If I was smart, I would do that ahead of time and make use of his talents or whatever, but uh, I'm not that smart. It's like the handheld rubber big gun thing I used as a kid, running around shooting all... Yeah, <laughs> it's... Uh... Like a, like a nerf thing, almost? I mean, it works. It's not it's not epic, but you, know, you wouldn't really expect it to be as the first ranged weapon you can get. Later on, there's guns and stuff we can make, too, but... Oh, I literally... You know what? <laughs> we need to, uh... Need to put some stairs here so I don't have this problem trying to get in here all the time. Because now the problem is I don't have any wood on me. Oh, I did enough. Nice. Score. Okay, uh, simple wood axe first. Make this one with the prey straps, I guess. Since the prey one will give stamina, it'll be more useful when I'm harvesting things. Bloop. And then we can extract this sucker. I need more wood. Ah, I'm getting disconnected again. <laughs> oh, come on! I want to make progress, man! Click repair all, do you get the... do you get whole plants? <laughs> yeah, no, not so much. <laughs> Just repairs all your armor and tools. Piece of wood carved with rubber bands and a clothespin trigger holding it... yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Truly a work of perfection. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, Dr. Netherwish, how you doing? Two steps forward, four steps back. Well, it's not really four back because it, it's, it's not, I'm not, I'm not losing anything when it happens. It just, uh, well, I guess I'm losing time. It's a bit of a time loss because I have to redo stuff, but I suppose it could be worse. 
Somehow. Alright. <laughs> Some point trying to put stuff in there. I can't. You have to DC me so I can reconnect. How's the game say progress? It's all server based on uh on inflection side. So they they uh they're renting out the server space from uh, from Google Cloud and then each each person's world is its own instanced server in the Google Cloud. So when you're on this home world here now, that's its own server. When you travel to another realm, it's another one, that sort of thing. Uh, but it only keeps one active based on like where the players are. Uh, so it serves all or sorry, saves all the game information over there. There's no save button on our side. Nothing saved locally. Uh, because it's all online play. Even for single player, it's still online. <laughs> Three back. <laughs> it should show it who's boss when that happens. Log out and back in. Except I probably can't click the log out button when it's happening. Hey, Richard Head Gaming, how you doing? And we're back. All right, so uh, I got to ditch the stuff here so we can go collect some more wood. Now they got this fancy upgraded axe, we can chop a lot quicker. I don't know if it makes the stumps a whole lot quicker though. Stumps are still kind of a pain. means if they go to business, the game's lost and unplayable forever. Well, except that I, w I don't really expect that to be the case in the short term. Um, I think what they what they wanted to do was start it this way, and there's some internal discussion about what they're going to do later. I've seen that comment a couple times, but I don't, I don't know. That just doesn't concern me, I guess. It's literally only happened with like one other game. Well, two other games, because it happened with Disney Infinity, too, when I played that ages ago, but... It's all remote instance based. How big is the download? Uh, I don't remember how big the install was, honestly. I mean, like, you're running the game locally, but everything's happening on their server, so it uses that connection. Cannot do mains without shutting the server down? Well, maybe it depends like it's google cloud we're not talking about like a physical server sitting in their building though so i don't know how that works with google cloud honestly same thing with like amazon web services does amazon web services go down in order to uh perform maintenance so they shut it all off like, i kind of don't think they do but uh your stamina does regenerate but i was dcing Steam download was 52 gigs. Yeah, it's available on both Steam and the Epic Game Store. I have the link pinned to the top of the chat for the Epic Game Store if you happen to buy it there. That supports the channel at the same time, but it is available in both. Uh, not available on console right now. I don't know whether they plan to move there, but they did build in controller support, so I suspect they, they might at some point. But they didn't say anything about uh, like any kind of planned timing or anything like that. Yeah, they just ship. Yeah, I would think that's what it would be. Like, it, um, if it was a locally, locally housed server, I could see that. Yeah, they'd have to shut it down for maintenance or whatever. Like when uh, World of Warcraft does it or whatever. But I think because they're using uh, using cloud, it's uh, not quite the same thing. I could be wrong. What do I know? I'm just a pleb. Okay, we got the wood axe. Let's make the mining pick now. Uh, again, I'm going to go with the prey strap so we get the stamina benefit off of that. Uh, we need the simple knife. Make the simple sickle. Hey, so I'm hitting the autofill button here, but you can choose the individual ones. Like, just clicking on it to choose the specific materials you want to use. Uh, when you have multiple options, that's probably what you're going to want to do, so you're getting the stuff in there that you actually want to use for that purpose. But right now, I don't really have any... 
don't have anything fancy, so I'm not really worried about what goes where. Um, dagger, pickaxe, extract all these. What am I missing? So these are 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. The only thing I didn't build was the climbing picks. I really haven't used those to any great extent, but we'll build them anyway. I'll just put them in storage for now, I think. Like I said, I really don't use the climbing picks, but you can use those to climb up rock walls and stuff. It takes a lot of stamina, though. Like, a lot of stamina. So probably not something I'm going to do in the short term. This fiber I'm going to scrap. Because we want Essence to buy stuff from the trader. Who's over here? Hello, Adam. That even is your real name. <laughs> yeah, the hamsters got bored and started running on the wheel again. Okay, so in here we can buy stuff like... Uh, well, I can get the umbrella so that I can actually repair the umbrella. Because right now I can't, I don't think. Uh, the simple hammer is used for repairing your buildings and stuff. Uh, simple maul is a melee weapon. I'm going to take it because there's. I happen to know that the boss in this particular thing of power is weak to blunt. Uh, there's a couple of realm cards we get here. The Explorer card. Play this to travel more quickly, improving your resistance to most forms of damage while we're doing the damage you deal. Angler card for fishing. A feast card. Slow down how long you, it takes to get hungry. And this estate address card is the one you can create and give to somebody else if you want them to come to your realm. So like, if you have friends you're playing with, you can give them the estate card. And then even when you're not online, they can use that card to travel to your world if you want them to go there to do something. Uh, we got some light options. Let's go with the... Unlock the hide chandelier. Actually, we got the simple candle, too. More likely to get a candle res material sooner. Uh, roofs and stuff. How much stuff? I've only got 21 left. I'm going to need to get more... I need more, uh, more essence... Let's go quickly scythe a few things that we can scrap it all into essence. We can forever kill that boss with the action, no wonder. Oh, which boss? The, uh, the one that's in the site of power here? Yeah, it's, uh... You can use the sling blow on it. It's just sling blow. The sling bow on it. And I guess when um, when the little thing in front of it turns red, you can hit it for a crit. But um, I did find personally that the, uh, the mall worked really well on it. Blunt damage for the win or whatever. Okay, we got a lot of sticks. We can extract those. Uh, a little bit of fiber. Ah, oh, crap. I'm DCing again. <laughs> Come on. Might get to build the musket. Later on, we'll, we'll find a vendor that has guns. So there's a rifle. Uh, there's a pistol. That has like four shots. Uh, there's a shotgun. Um, those things later on we'll get from a, from a trader that will allow us to build them. Right now, I can't, unfortunately. Mixed reviews! They're not winning. No good reviews with the online only. Well, again, I think, like, take the take day one reviews for a game with a grain of salt. Um, anyone who's having server problems is going to get irritated and go and leave a negative comment. Um, the people who didn't we weren't interested in the game because it was online only or likely to go and leave a comment even if they didn't choose to keep the game like so there's i don't know there's a lot of stuff that like on, on day one i try to take steam reviews with a grain of salt i think they'll play out a little better when server stability improves and more people are playing the game i happen to really like the game and now I, I'm, I could be biased because i didn't buy it myself i did get a copy of the game from inflection um i've been playing in the uh, the betas of the game, and I've been involved in focus groups over the past couple years as this game was being developed. So I've been looking forward to it coming out, so I'm, I'm certainly not without bias, but uh, 
I like it. It reminds me a lot of like when Icarus came out. Um, Icarus was all server based initially. People complained about that also. Um, you know, it had its bugginess initially because uh, all games do. And then over time, as they continue to make updates on that, you know, I think there's a lot of people that really like Icarus now. Roll out hotfix. We plan server downtime starting 6 a.m. Mountain time. We're estimating approximately 30 minutes to an hour downtime. Okay, so yeah, you can't play during downtime. Fantastic mustaches. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Must play game because can have interesting facial hair. How'd you get started in the focus groups and such? They reached out to me, actually. Um, so a couple years ago... Um... I don't remember who it was specifically on their team that reached out. Oh, server problem again. Um, but I had somebody reach out to me based on the fact they had seen my content, and they were they were getting a number of different content creators to get involved in the focus groups um, who were into playing survival games and stuff online. Because this particular dev team, it's the first time they've made a survival game. Um, they're sort of an amalgamation from other studios who made other types of games. And this is their first foray into like a survival style game. So they, um, they set up this focus group with content creators that they had seen making a video content based on survival games, and they brought a whole bunch of us in to, like, provide feedback. The first call that I joined, I was in Florida on vacation. Um, called in for that. Well, that was a couple years ago now. I think that actually might have... I think that backed me up a little bit. No, it's got 121 essence. We're all right. Respawned me back at my Karen for some reason. So yeah, it wasn't uh, it wasn't that I knew about it ahead of time or anything. They they reached out to me and I was like, oh yeah, that'd be cool. I wouldn't mind learning about a game as it's being developed. Uh, and they've been great. I, I really I, I'm really hoping that this is successful for them because it's like for their studio. I think it's their first game. Seems like they went about the process right, and it's just a question now of, like, buttoning it down into exactly what people are looking for from the game. Stamina problems. Alright, let's, um, let's see if I can buy this, uh, sewing machine thing we need here. I should do this quest, too, to knock that out. Might get a reward for it that will help. Uh, crafting refinement. So we got the saw table, the smelter, simple mortar station, and the spinning wheel. I don't want those yet. We want basics and repair. The sewing bench. That'll let me make clothing. Chantress focus is another 55. Let's go to refinement and get the saw table and smelter. Maybe tackle these things, too. Surviving your body needs your aid in completing a structure. Indeed, let us begin. Two bed rolls down. Three bed rolls down. Fire, I need rocks. We got some of those in here. It's really dark when I come in here. I gotta put some lights in this place. Need more rocks. Who's hiding all the rocks? Why is that glowing red? It's like the sunset's making this light up a different color. That's... This is like quartz, I think. Oh, it's... Oh, tin. I stand corrected. Look at that tin. I think it's lighting up from the sunset. That's interesting. It doesn't normally glow red like that. Now that I've overburdened myself. Fresh pillow lava? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me just put my head down on that. I'm sure it'll be fine. Alright. Oh, completed. This is our little reward chest over here. I got me 24 essence dust, which is not exactly stellar, but... 
Pizza kick in the nuts with a frozen boot, I guess. Alright, so I've got 77 to work with. Um, let's get the smelter out of here, I guess. And we can build more things. <laughs> Every time I walk in, I gotta wait for my eyes to adjust the lighting in here. It's so dark. There we go. That'll help. Alright, we need building stuff. Close out these. Oh, actually, if I put the candle in here, oh, I don't have any wicks. So you got the wicks actually from killing some of the bound. They've got like this little lantern on their head. Which kind of makes me chuckle inside. Uh, I'll throw it on the simple sewing bench though, because this I can use to make clothings. Bones, fiber, and wood bundles. I don't want to use that fiber because that fiber is good fiber. <laughs> I need I need bad fiber. Oh, here's one of the uh, the nighttime sky boxes. Let me put this thing away. Got like multiple moons or planets or whatever here. Environmentally and the lighting in this game, I feel like is just awesome. Characters a little funny looking. They kind of look like, in some cases, they look like like badly shaped clay. <laughs> but the uh, the environmental detail in the sky boxes and stuff is awesome. Stamina. Uh, let's get some food in me so I can try to get my stamina up a bit. Terrible about maintaining food buffs. Worst thing ever. I'm gonna need a bunch of fiber to make clothing too, anyway, I guess, so. Oh, actually, I'll need more hide. We're gonna have to go a little hunting. Because I gotta make leather for the clothing. Got a good screenshot for the desert bypass. Yeah, if you want, if you play the game and you want to take screenshots of stuff, um, like I said before, you can hit F5. That puts you into a third-person view, if that's your preference. And then uh, if you hit F4, it hides the UI, so you can get uh, some fancy screenshots of stuff. Or if you want to stay in first person, obviously, that works too. H puts away your tools if you want to hide your hands. And I'm DC'd. <laughs> <laughs> and now we got another cud. A disaster beyond imagination will occur. All those moons or planets that close feel like should really be messing with the tides more. Well, yeah, one would think so. You just chalk it up to the fact that it's a fey realm. It doesn't follow the normal rules of physics. <laughs> Exit. Stage left even. Later on, we'll play a minor realm card that can change stuff in the world, too. It will, um, like, change the way the physics and things work in the game. It's all kinds of stuff you can change with the minor realm cards when you go to the transmuter. Uh, and some of them even change the skybox, so the whole sky will look different. Weather conditions, lighting. I think there's a minor card that makes it so it's never nighttime, it's just always day. Actually, if... Oh, that's... Sounds like the bound spawning. Maybe not. Oh, let's get a deer. Ah, you gotta wait. Nope. Where'd he go? Eh, crud. This deer fast, man. I gotta get a... If I get my, my bow upgraded, then uh, we can kill them with one shot. Or if you get a heart shot. Heart shot does like a super crit. Oh, I'm cold. Uh, I need to bust out the torch. I think this one was first, right? If you do them in the wrong order, it causes the bound to spawn and it'll attack you. 
Yeah. What do we got? Simple fishing rod. Uh, favor of endurance, favor of power. I want to get the soaring favor. That one lets me jump really high. Favor of soaring. Okay, where's my umbrella now? <laughs> you can travel super high with this. Basically fly at that point. So you run out of stamina anyway. I did see some bound on the beach there. I should probably kill them. We can maybe get our hands on it. Whoop! Forgot about the jump. Uh, there we go. If I can kill these guys, I might get a wick. Oh, they're going for my base. No oh, crab. Oh, crap. Come on, get up there. Missed. Uh, I should probably just go in with the axe. Oh, I'm disconnecting again. <laughs> Dang it! Is this Fortnite? Where are we dropping, boys? With the with the flying? Yeah. Another dust. Another disconnect. Not my night. This whole day has been a hot mess. Well, now my dude's cold. Are they homeward bound? <laughs> well, they're, they went by my home. Does that count? Yeah, they're attacking the NPCs for its resort. As long as they don't kill the vendor on me, that would suck. Yeah, I am DC'd. I'm just waiting for it to disconnect. <laughs> as soon as you can't interact with things, you know it's it's going to kick you out. I think it spent more time DC than playing at this point. Yeah, it's been it's been particularly bad. It it, it DC'd a lot during the uh, the tutorial. Then we had a, a decent run when I got to this first realm, and then uh, we started running into the DCs again. I, I like I said, I was kind of expecting problems on day one because it is server based, and everyone who wants to play the game, this is their first opportunity to do it, and so you know they'll be uh, all piling in online. It was probably a little bit more stable earlier when people, you know, during the day didn't have as much of an opportunity to play, particularly for the North American servers. How far back did it set me? What did it, uh, oh, I got, hold on a second here, crafting... I got the fishing rod plans, right? Makeshift items. Look at all the refinement and everything. Jeez. Simple fishing rod. Okay, so I did get it. Anyway, let's make it daytime so we can get past the night here. It's really freaking dark in here. Where's my torch? Canada's in North America? Yeah, we're America's hat, man. <laughs> Didn't have a single problem earlier today. Played 5.3 hours with a single DC. Yeah, like I said, I think because it's the it's the evening now, uh, a lot of people who couldn't play earlier in the day are now available to play online. Tis what it is. I really wanted to play earlier, but I just couldn't. because like, And I'm DCing again. Because, you know, why would I want to be connected? Nice sunrise, though, at least. Canada puts the North in America. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's got off work. Typical prime time. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I mean, I only started playing tonight around uh, 8 o'clock Eastern. 
Which is, again, like right in that witching hour where people will be like logging in that maybe couldn't play earlier. Kill me though. It is a very pretty game. Yeah, environmentally, the detail is amazing. When we find a, 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 a waterfall later, I'm probably, I think I'm, when I get to the point of like building a decent sized base, I'll probably build it by a waterfall. The waterfalls are neat. Not like it's a waterfall, but also because of the way they've done the lighting, um, the the water spray off of the waterfall creates rainbow effects when the lighting is shining through it. Which is pretty cool. Work from home, so I never stop working. <laughs> I work from home too, but... I still stop working because I'm a slagger. Okay, um, what do I got here? I've got 34 essence, so we're going to need more. I can extract all of this. Wait, wait, wait. I wanted to actually craft some things. Uh, there we go. <laughs> or I destroy all the stuff that I just spent my time gathering. Let's actually see if I need it for things. What a novel concept. Can you make water wheels in the game? Not that I've seen, no. There's no use for uh, for um, electricity in the game that I've seen. It's gas lamp, so it's uh, all your lighting is going to be like torches and lamps and I think there might be even some magic ones later on but Timber I think I'm DCing that tree is not breaking Come on Try another tree. Yep, screwed. <laughs> Gaslighting? <laughs> but Tesla Towers, the movie trailer. Oh, yeah, th so those are at Nightingale, though. Um, so they do have that, you're right. But I don't think that's anything that we get to build. The tree has plot armor. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, From the maps where I live, it isn't even on the map since you're from Upper Michigan. Oh. <laughs> Saying Canada's not on the map because you're in Upper Michigan? This team's Canadian too. Their, uh, their office is in uh, Alberta, I think. Don't say that, your cat will come. Yeah, I thought of that as I said it. I looked over at him, but he was fast asleep, fortunately. Sleeping on top of the uh, the shelf. Um. <laughs> we seem to be missing something here. <laughs> I'm fairly certain there's supposed to be a building. There it is. Wow, that was a funky loading. All right, there we go. It's one of those fancy new glass buildings. It's very transparent. That took a lot of chopping. Oh, I can't do my little jump move together faster. I think the first thing I want to build will be the backpack, because it'll double my carrying capacity, and then I won't get overburdened so quick. Uh, I should really recruit that guy, too. He can, I can use him as a pack mule. He's got infinite carrying capacity. Come here, Henry. The power of a mustachio compels you. <laughs> Alright, for hire. You're, you're hired, buddy. You work for me now. So... Now that we've hired him, you can actually go in and modify their inventory. Like, later on, we can swap out his clothing to give him better gear. Uh, we can improve his tools and that kind of stuff. You can't give him ranged weapons. They don't want to use them. He's not in this, uh, at this point in, in the, the game development. But they, uh... 
<laughs> what I should do is actually let me let me take your backpack. This backpack's mine now. <laughs> there we go. Now I've got uh, 90 carry capacity. He doesn't need it anyway. He's got infinite carrying capacity. He's fine. <laughs> he desperately wanted to loan it to me. He told me so. Okay, so I mentioned done. So the backpack that's in here is actually slightly better than this one I just took. But I've got to get leather. Uh, to make leather, we need hide. And I used up all the hide to make straps. So we're going to need to go on the hunt. I've got three, actually. But it takes two for most of the things. Let's go this way. I'm gonna make the uh I'm gonna make the simple pack. I'll give him back his. I'll be kind. I'll fire this up so I can get the uh get the buffs out of it for uh crafting speed. Henry, where'd you go? There you go, buddy. You can have your bag back. If you give your guy anything, make sure you right-click on the item and then equip it, otherwise they won't have it equipped. <laughs> it's not working. I think I'm DCing again. Yep. <laughs> Dang it! They increase his gear scores the, uh, with the NPC? Uh, yeah, his started like 16, so his was already slightly better than mine. Uh, as I replace my clothing, we'll really quickly hit 20 as our gear score, and that will get us access to the site of power. Hey all, killing time, uh, waiting tonight's patch. Just got here 3 a.m. here, I know, crazy, right? No, oh, that's, that is, uh, that's pretty late. I should actually... Will it show if there's a patch pending? I guess it doesn't really, unless I, like, exit the game, right? Oh, I see Nate played uh, Nightingale today, too. This is what olden times internet was down? Like, no, no, it, it, it says it was actually fairly stable as long as nobody called you. It was just really slow. <laughs> He's dressed like the 1040s lost him? What's the 1040s? I'm confused. Yeah, old time internet used to be brutal. I used to use Netscape. Uh, it was uh, it was not a fast navigating experience. Here, Henry, I want to give you your pack back here. Oh, he's got it there. Whoop. There we go. Perfect. So, anything anytime you give stuff to your NPC, you gotta equip it, otherwise they're not using it. Um, I need to unload some stuff. Well, actually, I've got one leather left. I could make... I could make the head wrap. I'm gonna use the bound stuff for that, though. Where's that? Somewhere here I got bound fiber. Bound bristle! Simple head wrap. So this is where I get to choose the different type of material. As I was saying earlier, I hadn't had a point to do it yet, but... So the plant fiber doesn't give you anything special, but the bound bristle gives you plus 10% to, to health and 10% to stamina, so I'm gonna use that instead. And then this leather that I'm using is giving me maximum health and durability buffs. So we'll pick that too. So now when I craft this thing, it should be a... I think it'll be a higher than level 20 hat. Nope, still just 20. But I do get more, more benefit out of it by using better materials. Dash the bones. Oh, I'm carrying all this tin around. That's partly why I'm so heavy. Paper I don't need on me. Uh, crude fiber will leave behind. The wood will leave behind. I gotta go hunting. I need, uh... need some leather and such. Oh, I also need my food buffs back. All right, Henley, let's go something to find something to murder. But in a kind and gentle way. I 
I should actually scoop up a bunch of these mushrooms while I'm at it, too. Craft more food options. We still have to wait for a login queue like Helldivers 2. Oh, yeah. That would suck. That's common enough, but that would suck. Okay, we got wolves. Wolves! We're gonna go for a heart shot. Yeah, heart shot. Instant kill. This is where you help, Henry. That's why you got a weapon. It's not just the tool for getting rock. There we go. So headshots do bonus damage, but heart shots, are, they do like crazy amounts of damage. If you want to kill something quick, go for the heart. It's just not always easy to do. The sling bow is not the most accurate weapon in the world. I'm DCing again! Will D's and their viewers just joined. Well, welcome anyone who might be joining from Will D's. D's nuts? Got here just in time for another disconnect. <laughs> Impeccable timing, my friends. Impeccable timing. Big booty shaker. I says, pardon. Happy to hit it anywhere, Heart would be lucky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, with my potato aim, missing is certainly on the menu. But uh, if you do get the heart shot, it is like an instant kill, which is great when you're shooting at the deer. If you, if you catch a buck with a heart shot, for example, then you don't have to try to chase the thing down while it's running away. You just get that instant kill, right? Later on, there's some bigger things like hippopotamus type things that uh, the heart shot's awfully helpful for because you don't have to deal with trying to whittle your way through all their hit points. Go find my spider friends. They're actually way back where we started. <clears throat> this, uh, even though this is the starting map, there's a couple sites of power here. So we're right next to the first one. We need gear score 20 to get into it. But there's also some other ones that need um, like a gear score 30, one that's 40, and one that's 50, I think. Is it async you or the servers? Uh, I'm thinking it's the servers because my internet's been pretty good tonight. Wasn't earlier. Sucked major butthole earlier, but uh, tonight has been good. So I, I don't think it's um, I don't think it's my internet. Paris is lost. All communication with the city has ceased. The last missive received claimed a substance emerged from the Paris transept portal. Since then, only silence. Da -da -da. Those are all just like um, story to fill in the the context. I'm getting DC'd again already. <laughs> I literally got nowhere. The servers, they're just, they're overloaded because everyone who bought the game day one is trying to play it right now. You're having zero server issues? I'm so jealous. Are you, um, AJ, are you on a North American server or are you overseas right now? Because I can see, like, if you're on a UK server, there might be more people sleeping. Was I asking for a manager with the ISP? No, at the end of the day, so there's one option here. <laughs> the, the cable internet is the only one you can get here that's fast when it's working. Um, there's no competition, so they have zero interest in really doing anything to help you. You're in North America. I'm on, uh, I'm on, a, I'm connected to an East Coast server. I wonder if I should uh, log out of the game. It's working fine for you too. Okay, I'm going to log out of the game and then reconnect. Maybe we'll connect to a better server. Um, just give me a half a second here. Boop. Close. Quit the desktop. I'll just relaunch the whole game and see if it helps. Hey, well, things are good, except I'm getting DC'd like every 30 seconds, which is not good. Uh, especially since I was really looking forward to playing tonight after having problems earlier. Otherwise, good. Thanks for the raid. Appreciate it. Said thanks earlier, but I know it takes a while for uh, the raid to like pass you over. 
since the for some reason i don't know what it is with the rating as the person who's doing the rating youtube doesn't help move you over there you, you gotta you gotta do it manually <laughs> Talk about your connection, no... Oh, that's what you meant, yeah. Well, all right. Like I said, still doesn't hurt to maybe try getting a different a different server connection anyway. Yeah, the, the whole raid system's kind of funky. It's, it's a little weird. I mean, it's nice that they have it at all, so, you know, I can't complain too loudly since they didn't even have it before, but... Playing Subnautica. Ah, oh, I haven't played Subnautica for ages. Were you playing the original one or um, the Below Zero? It's just because I'm streaming. Yeah, <laughs> I'm live right now. Hold on, let me uh, let me turn up my replay buffer. That might help maybe with uh, my own CPU usage, but I don't think it'll be an issue. So the thing is, like, your download bandwidth and your upload bandwidth are very different, very different animals. Oh, what's up there? I love the lighting. Look at that. It's very, uh, very realistic. Stock up on some shrooms. Looks like someone was living in here. There's more wolves over here. Oops, wrong button. That was not a hard shot. <laughs> Back off, get your own sandwich. There we go. Subnautic game was caught from day one, I'm sure it would have doubled or weren't, maybe. It was such a good game though, like even single player. I'm very curious to see what they do with uh, Subnautica 3. There's another structure here that should have an echo in it we can collect, I think. Through the enemies! We found the bound! Ooh, headshot. Sit down! Don't mind if I do. Hide the table lamp. It's not gonna make the twine. I can't really make those hide lamps, I don't think. Mr. T Mark 65, thanks for clicking the join button. Welcome to Duplicant. Appreciate the support. Uh, I'm gonna get more fiber while we're here because I know I'm gonna need it. We got a lot more stuff to buy from that uh, trader still. Got more wolves there too. We'll need their need their leather like their mangy hides that was not a hard shot it's really hard to get a hard shot in this game well good mining but you gotta pick it up too buddy with fiber with all the poor wolf meat like, yeah yeah we're definitely gonna need a little bit of fiber after shoving all this wolf meat in there we go berries will be good too sadly you can't use the scythe on the berries it'll get you more sticks or fiber but it doesn't work for uh doesn't work on the edible plants 
This little circular spot right here should be a waterfall. I should maybe go check that out. Where is that? That's, uh... Maybe up the hill over here, probably. Oh, there's a site of power down here. Harvester's workshop card, and I'm DC'd. And the weighted eminent card again. <laughs> For a moment, it felt like it was going smoother, and then... And then it wasn't. How'd you pick up everything like that? You hold down the letter E and it picks up everything in the immediate area. Anything that's loose, I should say, because it won't pick, it won't like automatically harvest fiber and stuff around you. But like anything that the mobs have dropped that you killed or like logs, rocks, stuff you've skinned from the animals, it picks up all that stuff. Do, do, do. If it could just DC me a little quicker, that'd be good. Yeah, it went smoothly until it didn't. No, I don't have to feed him. Um, I don't think you even can feed him, actually. He doesn't get paid either, but you can upgrade his equipment. So if you give him some new clothing or different tools... He's got a pickaxe right now, but if I give him an axe, instead of hitting rocks, he'll go hit trees. Uh, if you give him a knife, he unfortunately won't skin things, but he will use it for combat. Uh, and then they don't use ranged weapons. So, I, for example, you could give him... I might actually... Get, maybe I'll give him a maul. And we'll get him to equip that. When I want him to like just be hanging around as a pack mule in combat. And then when I want him to actually harvest things, you just make him equip the appropriate tool to collect it. Because it doesn't... Um, they don't have a, a carry limit. In, the NPCs have infinite carrying. Oh, God! Okay. That's problematic. My axe is a little damaged, too. These guys are already injured. I think uh, Henry was doing some work. Good job, Henry. Probably while I was DC'd. <laughs> it's all part of my strategy. I get DC'd, he does all the killing. Uh, Charm of the Terrifier. This charm causes the wearer to regain health and frightens nearby creatures when landing a blow on an enemy's weak point. Uh, that, however, I cannot equip until we get an appropriate uh, crafting bench to be able to use charms. It's crazy, I have bad internet living in the country and I have not had any problems. With the game? I, I don't... <laughs> I don't know what the deal is. <laughs> I'm getting DC'd constantly. I'm fairly sure it's not my internet provider this time because uh, my my connection's been pretty like really stable tonight. I uh, haven't really seen a lot of variance at all in it. Henry's like, you jerk, you just left me with all these monsters. I'm unionizing, all right? <laughs> Blame Canada. Oh, I gotta fix my stuff. Repair all. It's going to cost me 104. Well, that's not working. Uh, repair these two. Should be a waterfall right around here somewhere. There it is. Little one here, anyway. It's not catching the light properly to, to show off the, uh... Um... The rainbows, though. There's our first waterfall. Doesn't look like any hidden caves down there. I have an ugly umbrella. Oh, yeah, it's very ugly. It's, like, made of grass or whatever. I didn't craft this one, though. I just found it. Oh, I, you know what I should do? Let me pick up all this stuff. Um, because these guys have infinite carry capacity, we'll make him our pack mule. We'll just give him all this stuff. We can carry all these things we don't need to haul around with us. A bit of gunpowder. Some of this stuff. A little bit of bonage. Oh, thread. 
That's fun. There we go. That makes my weight a little bit better. Oops. Ugh. Oh, how do I get up here? This is problematic. He's teleporting. That's cheating. This one here requires the uh, pickaxe that's um, level 40 to be able to mine it. That's off the uh, off the potential list for now. Yeah, the, all the environmental detail I've seen in the game looks really good. Like, the waterfalls are really cool. Uh, the ones that I've seen that had that had rainbows and stuff were really epic looking. Like, the game's not flawless. It's still in development or whatever. But from an environmental perspective, I think they did a fantastic job on it. I love that they get staggered too. Is it procedure generation for each individual's first time? Yeah, every world is uh, is um, procedurally generated, except for the tutorial worlds. So there's some um, the first three, what is it, the first three worlds you land in or whatever? Or first four, I guess. That that first temporary area and then the forest byway, the swamp and the desert that you go to. Um, those are all static. They're the same for everybody. And then after that, everything is procedurally generated. So when I, this one was, and then when I go through the portal to the next world, it'll be different. So no two players will have the same experience. Just kind of great. Uh, you're a normal... It wasn't hard. Yeah, I, I, I could tell it was a normal earlier when I was killing stuff with uh, some easy shots. I intended to put it on hard, and then I, I kind of forgot when we were rushing through the, the character creation process. I was so excited to have my internet back. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I just gotta get in and play. But then I didn't pay attention to the difficulty setting. It'd be nice if there was leather in this box. Quarry card. Play this card to increase stone yield, reduce the time needed to refine stone products, and improve the quality of stone items at the cost of other materials' effectiveness. So when you want to do a bunch of stone work, that's the one you play. One of the other creators that um, was in the, the Discord with me um, was saying that they, uh, in order to find like the perfect world... Oh, 121, got it. One kill. Uh, in order to get the perfect world in terms of, like, the placement of the transmuter and the fey portal and stuff, they, uh... They restarted, like, 50 times. Or they went or like they went through the portal, like, 50 times to find the perfect world to land in. So that they could get one that had, like, ideal placement for everything. Oh, that was a butt shot. That was not a kill shot. That works, though. He didn't run. Foolish deer, don't you know when you get a stone in the butt? That's when you run. I don't learn him. It's a deer right over here. I hear it running still. Oh, he's stuck in the rock. Ah, oh, I don't think it's actually there. I can't hit it. We're doing weight wise. Forty two and change. I swear that one, this plant looks like cannabis. <laughs> There's a lot of random pot growing in the Fey world. Like I know where their magic came from. Ah, it's such a pretty game. If I could get the realm card I really want, then we'll go over to use the transmuter, but I gotta find it first. Some bounds.
I think I hear Carnute. Maybe not. There he is. It's the Carnute. This big guy's, uh, he's not aggressive. You can trigger him later when you have, when you want to actually fight him. It takes a magic spell that you get later in the game. But he just wanders around the world, and where he walks through, he'll knock over all the trees and stuff, so you can, like, just follow along with him and pick up all the wood and don't have to chop it down yourself. Kind of handy, that guy. Um, I thought there would be something I could climb here to get up a little bit higher, but I don't see in a climbing point. And I left my climbing picks back at the, uh, back at the base. So that's a non-option. You work in security for a medical marijuana shop. Oh, nice. <laughs> Those places are, I mean, so uh, maybe not medical marijuana here anymore because it's legal, but when they legalized marijuana here, I, it's mind-blowing the number of those shops that popped up. I don't know how they all managed to get enough business to stay in business. There's just so many. I think there's more of them in town now than uh, than Tim Hortons. And this is Canada. Like, that's, that's saying something. That's a lot of weed, man. Some might say it's like epic amounts of weed. Let's give this guy the wood to carry. And the stone. I don't want to carry those things. Uh, let's hear one predator meat so I can give him that. There we go. See another, uh, another challenge thing here. Everyone being so in 24-7 would explain so much. <laughs> yeah. I suppose it would. Simple hammer. Nice. I didn't even have to buy that. I love when I don't have to buy the plans. And they just give them to me. That's another side of power up there. We'll see what that is in a second. But first, there's got to be something in here, right? Yeah. No minor cards. Just potions. <laughs> the guy only travels in the weird real world. It's not fair. Uh, it's not fair to weed shop three to call this cannabis. Huh? Oh, it, is that like one of those, uh, you talk about one of those, um, like drug, uh, drug business games or whatever? There's a few of those around. Cartel and a couple of others. Drug Dealer Simulator. Drug Dealer Simulator 2, I think, is coming out. Oh, it's sunny and rainy. There should be a rainbow somewhere. This is really raining. Taste the rainbow, dear. <laughs> Surprise, we're here. Oh, bounder here. Look out! Oh no, not me! his own. He's got a pretty crappy tool, too, and he's uh, still, doing, still doing decent damage. <clears throat> Alright, let's add this side of power to the map here. So, this one is the... That's weird. It didn't pop up. Why not?
Hmm, normally it shows up when you walk into the doorway. Boom! Ice Cream Taco with a 25-month member message. Thanks, Ice Cream Taco. Appreciate the support. 25 months of splendid support. Old friend, Quartermain's Diary. Came at last in the usual fashion. I was in the midst of a fitful sleep when suddenly I appeared to stop before a thick wall of fog. More, uh, more character, uh, not character information, but more, uh, more lore. Oh, I definitely don't meet the requirements to enter, but I was expecting it to pop up in the top right there with, uh, with which side of power this was. Normally, um, Normally, you can, you can, it'll give you, like, the list of them as you as you discover them. But it's not even showing it on the map, which is weird. There's the Relic Transmuter there. Oh, well. Can I take the bunnies? It's like a hunt portal of some kind. The 19th month of the message. No dwarf mining today. No, not today. I tried to play last night until uh, things didn't work. My internet crapped out last night. Oh. Because I'm lucky I didn't break, a, break an ankle there. Internet crapped out last night. It was a mess most of today. It only just came back on this evening. Tools breaking. Oops. Stay out of the hail. The biggest one of these puzzles I've seen had seven of these little things you had to tag. Then we got right. Middle and the left. Imagine the damage if it were diamonds, <laughs> like if it was hailing diamonds. Yeah, that would, that would suck, I guess. State address card? Okay. Favor of soaring? That's the one I wanted. So let's use this to jump up here. No chest in here. Oh, the tricky part will be how do I just partially jump? <laughs> can't make a little jump now that I've got this uh, thing of soaring active. I don't think I can jump high enough to get up there, though, even with my little dash ability. Uh, this might be as high as I can get. Oh, I'm in the water. Definitely can't get up to that one. That's way too high. I don't see anything here we could loot anyway, though. No chestuses. Land on the floating block? I mean, I could try. Oh, that's not gonna work. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, whoa, whoa. Too much. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, we got it. We got it. Dagger jump for the win. So, we got all the way up here, but there's actually nothing here. Ugh. Unless, I can, I can actually might be able to get up there now. Not quite. <laughs> so close. Can I land on this thing? Yes. Oh, 
No. No. Ah. <laughs> I'm a little too floaty. Can you, use that, can you use the climbing picks on that wall? I don't have them on me. I have them in my storage chest. I didn't bring them. I don't think I can get up to the very high point anyway, but... Almost looked like there was a ladder out here, but I don't think there is. Nope. That's it. We can't get any higher, I don't think. Oh, wait, 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 wait. How much time have I got left on this buff? Oh, I just ran out. <laughs> okay, so... I have no idea if there would actually be something up there or not. There could be. But my, uh, my fancy buff ran out, so I have to get down from here. My goodness for the umbrella. <laughs> yeah, we're Mary Poppins all. Big cartoon statue here. Uh, Charm of Magic Bait. Discover the feast card. Favor of power. Favor of soaring. Weighted card. Increase the damage you deal with efficiency you're harvesting. No, not worried about that. Slight strengthening potion. I've got all kinds of potions, but I'm terrible about using potions in games. Oh, this is the Realmic Transmuter right here. So using this thing, if I had a card I wanted to play, uh, we could go up and interact with it and then pick a card. Then you play it over here and it'll apply it to the existing world to change the characteristics of the world you're in. Uh, I don't think I have anything I want to play, though. Glory card. Weighted card. Weighted eminent card. There's also different tiers of the card, so we've got the weighted card and the weighted eminent are two different, uh... Two different impact levels. Is there a benefit to selecting the great-grandparents? No, not really. I think when you're, when you're choosing the character... And you're, you're, like, setting up your lineage or whatever, I think it all... The only thing it does is affect the character the character's appearance that you ultimately have anyway. So if you're going to, like, customize the character you're making, you don't really need to do those things. As far as I know, it makes no difference anyway. Not from a gameplay perspective, at any rate. You can fly, y'all! Oh. Don't get stuck. There we go. Oh, I'm getting disconnected. <laughs> it was doing so well. How'd <laughs> you fix the DC problem, or is it just luck? Well, true believer, it was lucky and think it's like that. You jinxed it. <laughs> what was that for perfect time? No, it was just randomly doing better. Um, it, it could be that the, the server load is starting to decrease. Because it's uh, quarter to 11 Eastern time. So possibly some people are getting offline and it's uh, easing things up a bit, but I'm still getting DC'd. Sad to say. Boom. Wah, wah. Are you able to try it again and get the buff again? Not for that same buff, no. At least not for the same spot. Um, we could try again, but... <laughs> Kids are starting to be sent to bed. Maybe, yeah, maybe. All characters look like Neanderthals again. Well, yeah, the character modeling is a little funky. A little bit like badly sculpted clay, but... Um, like I said, I don't really look at my character much. I see him when I go into my inventory, but the rest of the time I'm playing in first person anyway, so it doesn't bother me. I'm more interested in what the rest of the world looks like, and it looks really nice. But yeah, the character models are kind of funky.
Bloop bloop. Have I still got the buff? I don't. The buff's gone. Oh, and I lost the, uh, the lore, too, I guess. Uh, amphibious card. Increases your swimming speed, resist disease. That's a handy one for the swamp. Because in the swamp, if you're in the water, you get uh, you build a disease. This is another one of those fancy dungeon type sites, which still is not marking it on the map. Why? Don't know why. I wonder if they changed it. It used to mark it, so you would. Uh, When you found them, it would put in the top right, it would add the thing to your journal with the entry requirements for the, the different spot you found. What if they just decided not to do that anymore? Alright, we got a, a decent amount of hide we can turn into leather now, I think. We'll go, we'll look down here and then, uh, then we'll fast travel back. So we can start making some better clothing. Get my gear score up, and then we can go into the uh, uh, into the site of power. Get that antiquarian card, and move on to another world. And check another spot out. Plus, my restfulness is low. I'm gonna have to gonna sleep soon. The guys, getting tired. Another wolf here. so hard to get a hard shot. <laughs> you market yourself? Yeah, um, you can. There are, uh, so, now that I've moved away from it, you can right click and there's some, um, you can put some map stamp things on, so I, you're right, I could, I could put a mark there. I don't, I don't think you can add notations, though, so you can't leave a note to say what the marking was for. But, like, it was just south of here, so, like, if, if I put a mark here, I could put, like, that, for example, to show that there's a thing there. Fancy little lake. That's another side of power there, that dome. All right, piggies. Oh, little baby piggies. That'd be an odd choice, forcing you to manually mark them. Yeah, like I said, in the uh, in the build that I was playing last week, uh, anytime you discovered them, it would automatically mark it on the map. So then you had a reference point you could look at also on your map and see which side of power was where. And then it would put a thing in the top right as an objective. Uh, although maybe I'm maybe I'm just ahead of the... I, maybe I'm not supposed to be doing this much exploring yet and Puck is supposed to direct me to go look around. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe once he talks about the other sites of power, they'll start to show up. Oh, I'm back already. Fast travel for the win. Dark in here. Uh, I need... Oh, I got a lot of fiber on me and not much else. I need... What's his face? Henry, where'd you go, buddy? There you are. Oop, he's teleporting again. Oh, crap. So here's the other thing that is a challenge with these guys. They automatically put things in your fire and stuff. So if he's carrying around wood, he's not... He doesn't notice he doesn't have wood on him anymore. It's because he just stuck it all in the fire. See, you gotta be a little bit conscious about what they're gonna be carrying, because if you have blueprints sitting out, they'll fill in the blueprints with whatever materials they're carrying, regardless of what quality it is. So you might have some stuff you want to keep and use for a particular thing. They don't care if they're carrying it, they'll stick it in wherever it will go. They're just that kind of a party animal. <laughs> uh... 
stone. Oh, I gotta, I gotta nap. We gotta wait until so you're traveling to another world this stream because uh, when I played the server test demo, I couldn't find out how to do that. Yep. Yeah, I'm working on it. Um, we, I need to upgrade my gear, which is why we were out uh, wandering around. I needed to kill some wolves and stuff. Nope, don't do that. Uh, there we go. Yeah, he put 15 wood in here. Oh, now I'm getting DC'd again. No, no, I'm not. That's weird. Put like a half a dozen of them in there. Light that up, that'll make this work faster. So we need leather now. We'll go with the tier one predator hide. It'll take a little bit to craft, but it does have uh does have a couple benefits. So sheltered 10 seconds faster, well lit 10 seconds faster, and then warm 10 seconds faster. So that'll speed up the crafting there a little bit. Let's make uh let's make him a different pickaxe so that he can actually kill things maybe a little easier. Although he's doing a pretty good job so far. Um, simple mining pick. Oh, I need stone blocks for that. There we go. <laughs> you got it up. Yay. <laughs> All right, come here, buddy. You take this now. I'll take this back, and then you need to equip it. There you go. Now he's got the uh, level 20 pickaxe instead of the, what was it, the level 16 he had? Level 6. Oh, so good, good, good upgrade for him. I gotta be two pelts, so that'll be enough to make like one thing here. All right, we made the head wrap. Uh, let's make the shirt. <laughs> Game's absolutely epic. I just uh, got done watching Floppy and Sergeant Kelvin co op this in an eight hour stream. Now I'm here. It's that good of a game. Enjoy, brother. Yeah, Johnny, I've been uh, I've been playing it for a while now. Um, today wasn't my first shot at it. I love it. Um, I think there's going to be mixed opinions just based on what people like uh, and or don't like. Like I think the server thing is probably one of the number one things that people kind of focused on. But for me, I uh, I enjoy these kinds of games. So I mean, I play a lot of survival games as it is. Definitely going to get good use out of this game. Uh, okay, so I made the shirt. Let's make the breeches. A little slow crafting process with the, uh, the leather, but whatever. Swap those out. That's dark meat. You know, I should really have my torch out. That might stop the, uh, the light adjustment there. I only got one leather on me. With that, I can make the gloves. Can you make him a cape? He needs a cape. A little. Well, I can make him a cape lit. I can't make him a cape. I can make this thing here, the simple cape. Well, actually, I can make a better cape lit in a moment once I get more leather crafted. Uh, gloves. I need to swap out all of his gear, really. I'm not really in a huge rush to do it. But I will want to swap it out. The nice thing with the NPC too is he can uh, he can revive you if you get uh, if you get knocked down. He'll help you get back up again, so they'll never keep you down. <laughs> I haven't seen him make the whiskey drink, so the, we can't do that unfortunately. Okay, so we can make a new capelet. I think that's the last thing I need to make for myself. 
but I need a little bit more leather. I've only got one. You can't mix types of leather either. So if I had one predator, one predator leather, and I had one prey leather, it wouldn't be good enough to satisfy the two required for this recipe. You have to have the same kind. Sort of an added, uh, added curveball. What about the vodka drink? <laughs> I was trying to remember the lyrics. <laughs> I couldn't remember. I was, like, I was having a brain fart. Okay, what have I got here? I got plant fiber, advanced bound fiber. Oh, okay, so some of this fiber I want to keep. So, max health 20%, max stamina 20%. So that's good. This is bound bristle, which is 10% of each. Uh, we got lots of crude fiber. I guess they stack at 94. That's funny. Oh, those are two different types of plant fiber, so they won't stack together. That's, <laughs> dealing with all different types of... Uh, all the different types of materials is kind of an adventure in and of itself. Still not enough. Oh, I should cook up some more meat. As long as we got the fire going anyway. Let's go with the predator meat. Can't cook the meat, we got to get to the chopper. <laughs> yeah, Tub Thumping by Chumba Wumba. That's, the, uh, that's where I went. <laughs> I'm sorry, all right? I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, see, so look at all the different types of fiber here. So we can go with the Bound Bristle, max health 10%. So we'll go that way. for my fancy, simple capelet. Oops. There we are. Boom, boom, ba -doo. Extract that. There's so, so much to this game. Never gonna buy it and lose days, months of my life. Yeah, there's, uh, it, the best part is, is that there's a lot to do already. Uh, but it's early access, so, like, there's more coming. It's... I love games like that. Or even this guy just regular fiber. He doesn't need anything special. You hold still, Henry. Although, if I take... Oh, the unfortunate thing is he's gonna lose that cool coat he's got on. See, the coat looked cooler, but, you know, whatever. He's still got a cooler hat than I do, I guess. I look like I'm, like, dressed for, like, I don't know, Siberian something or other. <laughs> it's crazy. Alright, what other crafting benches are we make here? So we've got the symbol workbench, the tanning station, campfire... I should make the saw table and stuff, I guess. We'll throw the smelter down, because I'm going to need that to make the card anyway. So we're going to need glass. I just need four of these. Oh, I also need one stone. Okay, so that's made. I think I'm going to scrap some of this fiber into uh, essence so that I can buy more things. That gets me up to 306, which is a good start. What piece of advice? Give Charles a bad blank weapon. He's a beast. Okay, going to look right now. <laughs> yeah, I have Henry and not Charles, but yeah, he's got a... Right now, he just has a simple pickaxe. He was doing good damage even with the crappy pickaxe he had, but the the simple one will already be an improvement for him. Oh, that's already full. Johnny Five with the, the uh, gifted membership. Thanks, Johnny. Appreciate that. Thanks for the support. I need to cook more things. Give me roasted berries. The blueberries. Oh, you only make two of those? Really? What about mixed plants instead? Go 
pick up some shrooms. Oh, it's also nighttime. I should probably skip it through today. Uh, I don't need this many sticks. Actually, I don't need all, any of the sticks. Those can stay here. Make it daytime! No disassemble. Yeah, Johnny Five. Johnny Five is alive. Got two server crashes in EU during six. Both times after two plus hours. Your DC, though, probably needs periodic restarts to reset server. Yeah, maybe. I mean, it's already improving. I'm not getting DC'd as often now. I, I think the uh, I think the load of people on the system is going down, which is nice. It's all all well and good. Okay. We have a couple more things we can buy here from this this dude. We got all those. The realm cards I'm not super worried about about. I'm not doing any of those right now. The lights I got all those. We can build the by the roofing pieces here. So we can make angled roofs now, instead of just the flat one. Uh, mortar station, spinning wheel, masonry bench, all those. Simple enchanters focus we'll need. Resources we don't need right now. Suitable potions we don't need. Okay, so I bought everything off of him that I need for the moment. In fact, we will need a sass. We haven't even talked to her yet. Ah, visitor! You're the only fine soul we've happened upon in this realm, and your appearance is a most welcome surprise. Who might you be? I'm a refugee of the Calamity, baby. Quite refreshing to reach such an open book. Very many faces in the realms, yada yada. Collecting stories is my trade, you see. She's, in a, she's a journalist for the Sunday Courier. Columnist of Nightingale's finest paper. You're in more material service, nourishment, equipment, protection my companion can provide, yada yada. I don't need those things. Um, you're from Nightingale City? Indeed I am. Few other cities provide quite the same delicious fodder for my work. Do you any way back there? Sadly, no. Though I'd love to put my gather, uh, my gathered tales to print. All the usual routes to Nightingale have been lost. With the portal network sundered, we've, lo uh, we've tossed to all manner of unexpected realms and rarely the same one twice. Makes navigation quite the pain. The demand for compass of parchment is ever growing. All uh, right. Well, he just fled the calamity. Do you know what happened on Earth? Something simply awful, awful as I surmised. Some say the Fey at last returned with a vengeance. Others, the faulty wiring pulled forth a plague from the void. After us, besides, otherwise engaged, yada yada. Um, that's certainly one way to approach the situation. I admire your industriousness. Ah, then perhaps you'd like to show some support for the uh, in the form of patronage. What, are you supposed to just give you money? I don't think so. Homie, don't play that. Tell me anything about the pale... Uh, have you heard any rumors lately? Ah, you'd like to hear a bit more current. I can most certainly indulge you. Of course, I'm sure a reasonable realm walker like yourself can understand that in such turbulent times, I cannot ply my trade for free. So she wants to read stuff that I've collected for Echoes in the guidebook. But it doesn't actually do anything, so I don't... I guess it's just, like, story... Or asking that, because it's not like you have to, like, have a certain number of stories collected. Heard anyone notable in the realms? Great many people as near as the forest antiquarian realm. They you wish to be wary there. Aurelio Acevedo Ortega. He's a crazy dude, plagued by gold sickness. Anyone else notable? Nelly Bly managed to survive New York and survive the pale. Should you meet her, know that she and her writings are tedious, moralizing, and in all ways contemptible. Probably for a competing paper. Her banal aphorisms even cheated her a seat at the Explorer's Second, but last I checked, journalism hardly qualifies one to lead realm walkers, as I'm sure you'd agree. Okay. Anyone else? Heard tell of one more, uh, the notable infamous, in fact. A monstrous doctor excommunicated from the most sinister sects of the Hermetic for his mad delusions of godhood. He's in the, de the desert astrolab, or astrolabe, whatever. Victor Frankenstein. Stalks around looking for corpses. I want to see Victor Frankenstein. All right, so she's got nobody else that she knows about. Any other rumors? Always. 
Something particularly looking for? No. Okay. That's it. That's it. That's all. Okay, I want to get a... I want to get a mall. Because I want to use that to fight the boss in here. And then we'll uh, we'll go see if we can smack some stuff around. Oh, I'm going to bring some healing with me too. Because Lord knows I probably am going to need it. I'm a little bit... Let's just say incompetent that way. <laughs> Raw mushrooms. I don't want those there. I want some cooked food there. Put the torch away. Put more cooked food there. Barrel. Didn't have enough. That's fun. There we go. Now my stuff is fixed. You don't need to have faith in you. That's all that's needed. Yeah, right. Right. Exactly. Faith. Oh, I don't need that much stone. What am I doing? I don't remember how many... Oops. Nope. I don't remember how many stones it takes to make the sledge. We'll find out in a second. Oh, I need scraps. Crap. I don't have leather straps. Dang it. I used the last two straps to make the pickaxe that I gave that guy. And I don't have any more hide to make any more. Ah, oh. Come on. Why? Why? All right, I gotta go kill something. I need enough to... I just need a little bit of hide to make... Oh, you know what? Actually, maybe they got the straps right here. Maybe I can just buy them. That might satisfy my laziness better. Resources. Wood bundle bones, sticks, hide, pray, whatever. It's perfect. I don't have to go hunt for it. <laughs> it's so dark. That won't take long. Did that wrong. Ooh. All right, simple mall. How to fill craft. That has that. I'll put that in place of my uh, sledgehammer for a uh, pickaxe for now because I don't need that. Oh, I need fuel. There we go. Spies for the essence trader. Oh, yep, I did. We did that. It's good. Should have brought a bigger basket. <laughs> What more does a man need than his computer chair, his gaming rig, his vape pen? Yeah, I'm sure Albert Einstein definitely said that. <laughs> Alright, put the fire out so I don't waste the fuel this time. Let's go uh, smack some things upside the head. I'm gonna use my axe mostly. Double check it. Yep, my gear store is 20, we're good. Now we, uh, with our umbrella, we could, whoops, we could jump all the way to the bottom inside here, but I'm going to work my way down from the top because there's chests that uh, might have some useful stuff in them. You now stand before the gateway to our first sacred site of power. He seemed to loom over us despite his short stature, armor gleaming in the fading sun. Every bit the, bit the picture of a valor I had imagined a knight to be. We're in, baby. Go up here first. 
Get some loot up on the top floor. It's cheating, man. He keeps jumping ahead of me. Ooh, got some some rubies. Um, maybe I'm gonna put that in place of the food because I could just eat the food in my inventory. Then I'll go through the animations if I do it that way too. Hey, great. Good morning to you. But healing potion is Q. It's supposed to auto heal one low. Oh, really? I learned something today. Where's my auto heal? Oh, that's interesting. I thought Q was a button that you used for magic in the game, or at least it was. That's awesome. Good with that. When I stood at last beyond the fabled doorway, I saw my joy reflected in the faces of my companions, darkened only by the sorrow of those left behind. More lore we don't need to read. And infusions, more potions and stuff. Oh, no you don't. Oh, God, I'm standing in the smoky stuff. them all I crafted to fight these guys, but I find it swings really slow. And the axe does a pretty good job. Did you drop some tricks today while you were waiting? I did, actually. I got two of the drops. I wish I could do drops on YouTube. It's so annoying that I can't. Um, but it's just not a, it's not a feature that YouTube has. But yeah, I got the uh, the umbrella drop and the um, an outfit one. Trickster card. Play this card to leap to great heights, resist injury, and feel your strength bolstered. Damage dealt will be reduced, however, and further anomalous effects should be expected. Oh, that's a fun card. Wait, Eminent. That Trickster card, it changes, like, when you're gathering resources, like, what will drop different things. Like, if you kill a wolf, you might get logs instead of meat. If you chop a, chop down a tree, you might get meat instead of wood. There's a red lamp on his head like a minion. Nothing there. Sure, this thing's loaded. <laughs> I hate how he teleports ahead of me. It's cheating. See him through all the smoke. Get wrecked, buddy. Uh, can you connect your account and showcase them? I have them connected already, but I actually have no idea how to pull up the, uh, the drops. I don't know if it's something like later on that I can craft as a recipe or what the deal is. I gotta figure out how to make them first. But I got a, I got one that's in a, there's an umbrella one and then an outfit one that I got, and I needed a few more hours of watch time to get the uh, the little dashing with the hat on, which is the one I really want. Oh, what was that Rome card I grabbed? Uh, hubris infusion, health regeneration. That's funny. Hubris. Eh. Rome card. Simonent, weighted card. Trickster, abeyance, Phibius, forest card. Harvester, quarry card. I don't know what card it was I just picked up. 
I did claim them in the drops inventory, yeah. Like I said, I just have no idea how to make them in the game yet. I haven't really dug into it. Yeah, I don't think there's... Uh, if I go into crafting... Uh, umbrella? So I can make, I make the simple umbrella. But I don't know how to make it look like the one that you get the drop for. I, I'm not sure if there's like a particular quality level you have to be able to make before you can make those ones or what the deal is. It was a very purple looking outfit though, that's for sure. Oh, here we go. Oh, down here. This is where things get chaotic. Is there a rewards window somewhere? Oh, is there? Inventory map, party and social system. I don't know. I'll have to look around for it, I guess. Claim drops in game, go to system rewards. Okay, great. <laughs> system rewards. There we go. So there's the aristocratic outfit. And then. And then the aristocratic umbrella. A truly lovely umbrella. The skill required of its craftsmen relegates such a costly style to affluent members of the Regency and nobility. <laughs> I want to make those things. Uh, oh, holy crap. I just got a serious gear upgrade. <laughs> That's kind of nuts. I didn't think I'd get to wear them right away. Oh, look at me with my purpley goodness. Hold on a second. Uh, five. There we are. Uh, I need to bust out a torch, though. <laughs> what an outfit. Dylan, baby. I was not expecting it to. I thought it would be just like a cosmetic item I could craft that would reskin stuff. I wasn't expecting it to be like item level 58 equipment. That's craziness. Oh, I've got the shoes. Gotta get the shoes. <laughs> Look at my feet. Oh, I can't. I can't scroll out. This has got like the gold buckles on them and everything. <laughs> I say, chap, could you point me to the way, the way to the deli? The umbrella looks fabulous. Yeah, they're actually kind of cool. It feels a little weird to get that big of, a, of an equipment boost, though. Like, I don't know what to think about that. I can't... If they get damaged, I can't craft them, so I don't I don't know how, how that'll work out, but... <laughs> looking dapper. Looking dapper. I'm gonna say, we're all style with my purple outfit. Look at the gloves, like, even, like, when I'm holding the crossbow. Make sure there's nobody else over here before we go downstairs. Don't need any ugly surprises. Oh, chest. Oh my god, distinguished puppy! Yeah, the dog with the hat is epic. That's the one I really want to get. No! I'm, not, I'm DCing again. Lustrate infusion, poison resist. Getting DC'd. I wonder if when I come back in, if there'll be more uh, more enemies in here. Other than the ones I already killed. Maybe didn't get better weapons. Oh, from the uh, from the drop? Uh, I feel like getting the better armor is already a bit broken. Because <laughs> I got my gear score up to 30 already. That gives me access to another side of power already without even having to do anything. 
Hope you don't lose my stuff. Yeah, eh, we'll see what happens. I th it's pretty good about like not setting you back too far. Yeah, my guy's moonwalking. <laughs> He's a smooth criminal, man. He can't help it. <laughs> I wish I could rotate him right here, but I, oh, even the crotch on the pants is a little awkward. Super tight leggings. <laughs> uh, you can give your old stuff to your NPC. I totally could have, but I, I wasn't thinking, and I scrapped it all. But yes, I 100% should have. <laughs> That would have been the proper thing to do. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any more any more enemies here. Gotta go down. We need to go deeper. Wonka called, he wants his look back. <laughs> oh, this guy's mean. No. That wasn't too bad. I was playing this a hard before. The, uh, the the fights were significantly more challenging. Mind you, I've now got crazy armor on, so I'm sure that makes a difference. Yeah. As squires, you have known the Red Cross Knights only as a layperson does. Slayers of beasts, conquerors of the wilds, interpreters of the inscrutable fae. Though these legends are indeed truth, they have a smile. None convey our real purpose. Dun dun dun. The triads rule the world. What do we have here potion-wise? I got a whole lot of potions. Restful, moderate restful. Not as many potions as I thought I got. I guess I left them all behind. This guy's not carrying, like, anything. On the plus side, even though I scrapped that stuff, it wasn't that significant of an upgrade for him. It was only, like, four points. Still, I should have uh, should have given him the... Uh, should have given him the gear. In the center of the chamber loomed a great mechanism of fake construction. It resembled nothing I'd known, even in fancy. Step forward and gaze upon our treasure. First of many you will know in time. Hey, Timber. Cat woke up. He's finally decided to pay us a visit. <laughs> Hold on, I'll see if I can, uh, if I can get my cat cam on. Uh, blue. There we go. There it is. Cat cam for the win. I gotta move this over here though, because oops. It's kind of in the way over there. Hey buddy. This is Timber, everybody. If you haven't met him before. He likes to join our streams every now and then. What are you doing, buddy? It's burning like crazy. Okay, I gotta I gotta kill the boss now. You uh you, you stay still. Activate mechanism. Oh. <laughs> I'm DCing. I can't activate it. Perfect timing for the cat to cause a distraction while Fox fights the boss. Yeah, it's the perfect time for the DC. He's he's triggered a disconnect. These days is every stream. Yeah, he does show up pretty much every stream now. He's gotten into the habit now. When I'm down here streaming, he wakes up and comes over to get attention. He's like, I know what's up. Well, we got the camera on. Uh, Inflection Games also sent me a pack of realm cards. Along with that, uh, the crazy hat that they sent me that was pretty sweet. So we've got, like, the, uh, that's the, uh, the, the abeyance card for the realm that we created that was, like, a little bit more safe. Then you've got, like, your, uh, oh, the, the light's kind of glaring on it a little bit. 
What's that? The swamp card there, I think. Yeah, it's the swamp card. Um, some of them are pretty sweet looking, though. Like this one here. Like some of the artwork is pretty stellar. Same as what you see in the game, I guess, but it's neat to have them as like a physical card. Oops. They're pretty cool. Came along with a hat that they sent. All right, Timmer, chill out, buddy. We gotta kill a boss. Love your cat. He looks a bit like mine. I'm also crazy jealous of the realm cards. Yeah, the realm cards are cool. If you didn't see it earlier, I don't know where I put the hat. Oh, my daughter stole the hat. I don't know where the hat is now. <laughs> I had a hat, but now it's gone. My 11 year old claimed it. You know what they're going to be selling? The realm cards? I don't think so, no. There's a digital art book I saw in Steam, but it's not a physical art book, unfortunately. Uh, which would have been really cool, because some of the art in the game is pretty incredible. Uh, I don't think they're selling the realm cards. These were just something that they sent out to content creators as like a little, like a promo thing. Pretty cool. There's like a dozen cards here, I think. But in the game, there's like, I think, ironically, 69 of the uh, the lesser cards, I think, or the minor cards. Uh, I think that's the number. And then you've got, like, the three world cards and some other major cards. Yeah, different power-ups ready. Activate mechanism. I want to get a screenshot of this if I can. I don't know where he pops it. Oh, there he is. Oh, oh. Maybe a little, maybe a little dark. That's a serious amount of damage. Even just like 110 with the maw. He's not moving very fast. On the on the hard difficulty, he fights way harder on burning. Fight's really different on hard. Damn, not really even a fight. All right, he's toast. <laughs> that was easy. That's right, it's always the 11 year old. You know how it is. All right, that gives us the recipe to make the antiquarian card. Oh, well done, Realm Walker. Well done. Your deed befits the title and the wider realms are within your reach. <laughs> that was cheating? That ah, one's like super easy, uh, like painful you easy. feel I foxed you? Betraying no foresight of the dangers held within these walls. Listen, for I come with broom before to sweep this dust behind the door. Though I did smirk, watching from the shadows, I was heartened to a spy that my gifts are not wasted on thee. Assurances in hand. Press onward. Mark inky images upon paper, and so direct the flow of the interrealmic void. Might I suggest, for your first foray, a forest augmented by your new antiquarian knowledge. There are others like you, lost refugees, Strangers to these fey wilds, so too are there more seasoned realm walkers who might point you toward Nightingale better than I. <laughs> Covered in hair. He's shedding like mad. I can't even bet you anymore, buddy. <laughs> that kitty. Yeah, this is, uh, this is Timber. He's, uh, seven years old? Seven and a half now, I think? Something like that? Go then, with newly fashioned cards. Awaken yonder portal. Okay, so we can now make the uh, antiquarian card. We also got some tier one essence, which is nice. What are you doing? Did you have an itch or something? What was that? Crazy cat. Thought he would rhyme a lot more. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> okay, so we can get out of here now. We don't have to stay in here. I guess we can just fast travel out. Boop. Outdoors. 
So to make the cards that we need to travel, we're going to need the uh, the enchanter's table thing, uh, and that's going to require some materials. So um, simple masonry bench requires lumber, stone block, and animal fiber. The animal fiber I can make here on this. Animal fiber is made with meat because I don't know why. It's just weird, but that's how it is. Whip up some of that. Um, I'm gonna need more storage, actually. I'm also gonna need more room. Maybe I should have made my base a little bit bigger. I was like, I want to conserve time and energy. We'll make it smaller. Game promptly sabotages me. I literally can't put it there. What's going on? Am I DCing again? Yep. <laughs> Dang it. Yeah, I do need a bigger base. It's easy enough to make it bigger. I can... You hit the, the X button, you can go into build mode. And then uh, I can move stuff around or whatever. I think I can move the walls. I gotta wait for the DC and then reconnect, though, because uh, I can't put anything down at the moment. Actually, I might not even have enough. I don't even have a lot of room here. A network arrow has a good. Three. Razumi. What I don't want to do is build too big right here because I have no intention of staying here. The trader I've already bought almost everything from. There's only a couple things left that he has. Can you log out when it's DCing? I don't think so because like none of the none of the menus or anything interact. I can try, but I don't think it lets me. I'll try that next time. Boop. Alright. More storage equals gooder. I'll put all this stuff in here. We got like a metric buttload of potions. Actually, I'll put the charms in that other one too, I guess. Uh, wick. Some of them are the same, but some are different. So this one is a advanced arcane wick. This was just a regular arcane wick. Too many materials. Uh, I can go there, I guess. Okay, that's there. Let's go ahead and make the... Well, I'm going to need lumber, so I guess I should make this, the uh, the saw table. That takes animal fiber, too. I'm going to need more animal fiber, I guess. Uh, but first, I'll make a little bit more room here. I don't, wanna, I don't need to go crazy, but I'm going to need a little bit, I guess. We'll make it an L-shaped building, because reasons. I don't know. Have you got any stone blocks on you you can put in there, buddy? Can you stack the baskets? Uh, I don't know. I'd have to try. Sorry, I scared the cat away. I had to cough. <laughs> he does not like loud noises. Like, at all. He's kind of a chicken. He's mostly a cat. He's kind of a chicken. Can I move the wall? Boop. The wall, she is not movable. Can I remove the wall? Yes, I can't. That at least gets you all the... So when you use the, uh, the build mode, you do get the materials back. There's that, at least. Place a little window so we can actually see out of there. Uh, what's going on here? 
There we go. Move. Um. Down against the wall. This is be a little more room anyway. I need more wood. Also sticks and fiber. I guess I turned all the fiber into, uh, into essence. I'm gonna have to go hack some more down. <laughs> that umbrella is something else. Now that we're out in daylight, you can actually see it a little better. Instead of, like, where all the walls and stuff are. Got that dapper top hat and that super stylish looking umbrella. Gonna make all the ladies jealous with that umbrella. <laughs> Meet that I have to trust Puck of all fate. Yeah, he, he's, uh... I'm not sure what the long-term story arc is there with, with Puck. But I'm curious to see whether in some way they make him untrustworthy. <clears throat> Just joined a 24-7 stream. I'll have the doggo tomorrow. Nice. <laughs> I did that earlier when I couldn't, uh... Uh, when I couldn't play it myself, I joined someone else's stream and just, uh, I just let it play. I only had enough time to get the, uh, the umbrella and the clothing. The dog, I, I got like 80% of it, but, uh, didn't have enough time. Does the umbrella work? Great. I mean, it's good for weather and stuff. Um, we should see if this one floats better. I, I'm curious whether the the new umbrella requires less stamina. Because it's definitely a higher level one than the umbrella we already had. Oh, that's way better. Holy, you got way more, way more flight time out of it. That's cool. What the heck is on the roof? <laughs> Why is there rock on the roof? Who put that there? I'm looking at you, Henry. Did you throw rocks on the roof? Oh, yeah, it's dark in here. Uh, okay, so we need the saw bench. The saw table and whatever. I can go here. Can't remember what I was getting the fiber for, but I know I'm going to need it. Um, we're also going to need... More station. Simple masonry bench. No, I want the spinning wheel. If I get that placed over here, then we might... Um, be able to make some proper lighting in here. Wood bundles and bones. See bones. Uh, ever heard deer and won that one? Let's pick some of these. What was the other part of it? Was it wood bundle? I probably needed wood bundle, right? Roof, isn't that we need the fiber for? Uh, maybe, but the roof's completed, so maybe not. I don't. I don't know. I don't remember. I think you're right. I wonder if uh, the NPC had some fiber on them. Kind of crazy. Have eight of those. Line that in there. And then I'm also gonna need some, I'm sure, for the uh where is there? The simple enchanter focus. Oh, I need ingots for that. Oh, and glass too. Right, 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 right. I forgot I need a glass. I can go there. If the the weather would stop, we could go chop some trees down. I 
One thing I hope they add, well, a couple of things I hope they add. Um, I hope they add like an easy way to put things into storage without having to like be really manual about it. And then being able to craft out of the storage without having to have the items on you would be wonderful. Hopefully that'll be coming down the pipe at some point. Box gets hit by lightning. <laughs> Is that running around outside with his fancy umbrella? Just get l completely lit up. Wouldn't that be awesome? <laughs> Like, what is this, Icarus? Alright. We gotta... Can't wait. We gotta chop trees. Buddy. It's all right. Uh, I hope that all drops straight down and doesn't like go inside the building. Can I run up it? <laughs> nope. Well, that's awkward. Now oh, there go. Oh, some of it landed up there. Okay, I got most of it. Darn anti-physics trees. <laughs> Down she goes. You know what, this, uh, now that I think about it, this vendor used to have stuff you could buy from them for that, the tier one essence. I wonder, is that still a thing or did they change it? Nope, I guess they changed it. So you don't have any, uh, any blue essence things to buy here anymore. Okay. That's good to know. Oh, there's puddles on the ground. Oh, I never noticed that with the weather before. That's cool. I wonder how long they take to dry. No, yeah. <laughs> cool. That one's no good. All right, so how many bundles of wood? I only have four left. I'm going to need to make glass. So put that in there. Which was gonna take quartz. There might there's a, I know there were some quartz nearby, but raw gem quartz. That will make a couple glass. Actually, it might only make one. Yeah, one glass. Woo! Go glass. So worth it or not, I'm on the fence about this game. It really, really depends on what you like. Uh, I know there are some some people that uh, have left feedback on uh, on Steam that suggest they, they don't like the game and don't want to play it. Uh, I happen to really like it so far. But I've also been playing around with the game a lot longer. Not because I had access to it before. I don't know. I, I enjoy it. If you like this style of survival game, then you might like the game. But, um, I don't know. It's a, a very much a personal preference kind of thing. Hey, we got a fancy umbrella now. That's that, uh, that Twitch drop. I'm gonna need more leather. We should probably try to get another one of these deer. Heart shot. Butt shot. <laughs> Killed it with the butt shot. Baby shot. Oh, baby's dead.
You didn't see that. That never happened. Ah, there goes my internet. Stupid interwebs. How could you murder Bambi? I needed his like hide or whatever it was I was getting. I don't remember. I think it was the hide I was after. <laughs> Not really the meat. Oh come on, internet. Don't do this to me now. Not like this. Not like this. I can't run the speed check while, uh, while the stream's actively running. I'm getting about half my normal bit rate at the moment, so I apologize to anybody who's getting buffering. It's uh, it's not, it's not cool. It's, it's not you. It's me. It's my uh, my internet provider. Earlier today, my internet provider wasn't working at all, so it's, it's an improvement, but it's not exactly good. Uh, all right. fill. Easy Bambi tastes good. Mmm, Bambi. Oh. Uh. Used up all the internet. Oh, I work there where this game is produced. You talking about you work for the company or you work in the city? Dun -dun 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 -dun. On phone, run the speed check. No, that won't work. So my internet service provider caps me at. Uh, 30 megabits per second upload speed. So running the speed check on my phone would be additive on top of the feed, the upload that I'm pumping out for the stream. So even though it's lower than where it should be right now, and that's why it's getting laggy, I apologize for that. Um, it's uh, it's still consuming bandwidth, so it's less than ideal. Uh, I need to make uh, lumber in the saw table. It means I gotta chop more trees. Sort of like I should give this other guy an axe. Let him go hack trees down for a while, but he'll come and put the stuff in the fire, which kind of sucks. Uh, let's like put the glass in here. Start some ingots going while we get some some more wood. A word? 